Okay. Welcome to another episode of TED Talks. And I'm back with my once a year co host. It's limited edition. Yeah. I'm like the series we're going to talk about, I'm limited. Okay. Wordplay is popping already. <laughs> she's, she's, she's happy that she put together a fire line. I did. It was off the cuff. Yeah. Um, Mary. Hi. Um, she's looking up. Are you? Did you I'm gonna make sure I said it right. Okay. So the series that we're gonna talk about, like, oh, I guess the general topic, but the series is the principles of pleasure. Okay. Nice. It's a very limited series. I don't know how many episodes it will have. Right now, three of it is up. It's on our bodies, our minds, and our relationships. Okay. Which I think, honestly, is the base principles of anything. Once you start opening yourself up to, like, these three things, you can open a conversation up for other things. Okay. Because each thing leads to one or the other. And you said this was on who? Netflix. Netflix. Okay, Netflix. Netflix. My bad. So, shout out to everybody stealing everybody's Netflix. You can go ahead and watch it. Yeah. I'm stealing my mom's. Oh, don't, don't let them hear you say that. They don't care no more. They're trying to keep us watching. If you say so. It's Disney Plus now. Then they, they might they might come for me. Well, oh yeah, <laughs> they they can they can do all they want. We're we're done with Disney. We done watched all the movies. Disney. Don't say that. Shut your pie hole over there, sir. <laughs> so like a Star Wars movie, not Star Wars. It was some movie came out that I want to see. Shut your pie hole. So we have the base. We have the basis of the show now. What's the topic that's going to come from this? So the first one was on our bodies. Okay. Now I'm not a dude, so I'm gonna explain the female side, and you can explain the male side. Okay. So for our bodies, it was based off on the culture, the history, the misconceptions, all of the misconceptions. I say that very into the mic. All of the misconceptions. I learned some things from this that oh. I like kind of surprised me a little bit. That it, maybe if I knew, but I forgot. Okay. Um, also, this is rated PG-13. Please don't listen to this if you've never had the Birds and the Bees talk ever. Did you have the Birds and the Bees talk? Yes, I got mine at 8, actually. Okay. That's, that's a little too early. Did you remember that? Ooh, that I lived in the you? hood. That was probably too late. Yeah. I was just, yeah that's that's but, or, or the right time, depending on your neighborhood. Might have been the right time. Touche. Might have been the right time. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. The second topic is, again, our minds and then our relationships. So... The first thing that shocked me the most, because I'm going to say definitely go watch it because I'm not spoiling nothing. Okay. Go watch it. But I just wanted to pull it up so I can make sure I said it right. Mm -hmm. They're all like not even a whole hour long. Okay. For people with short attention spans. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of people out there like that. Me. I am. That is that is me. Well, you know, when it comes to sexual things, though, people tend to. Nah. Because if. Okay. So going back to it, the misconception is how truly uncomfortable people are with this so not to get political but yes there are more laws legislations on women's bodies Correct. what we can do with our bodies what's considered legal and illegal then there is gun restriction then there is tobacco restriction then there is on your food <laughs> okay which is shocking when you say that it is shocking now how many restrictions have you heard about males reproductive and what you can and cannot do. Besides, you know, don't be murdering nobody. Don't rape nobody. Facts. That's it, right? Um, I I I haven't the slightest idea. Like, I don't know anything about male laws as, as far as like. Let's be clear: there is laws on how nude we can be in public, dress code since like as early as in, like elementary school. Okay. Didn't know that till I looked some stuff up. I, th I thought somebody was joking to me when they said that. Um, you already understand the situation, like, recently, reproductive stuff. Yeah, Endless so. laws, legislation there. Yeah, there's like Just, a big abortion thing going on, right? Yes. Okay. So, let's, I'm, I'm going to take out the abortion thing. Right. And, and, again, to get less political, more to stay to the, to the topic at hand. Okay. <sighs> to... Get to the point of how bad people would rather not talk about it. They better just disappear. Like we're just not gonna talk about it. You're just gonna do what we said. 
to the point where sex education is not taught in some schools mainly because some males are uncomfortable with their daughters learning anything. Right. Where most females would rather their sons know how to treat a girl respectfully. Right. Unfortunately, a lot of our school systems are predominantly still male dominated. Right. So people that make the, hey, we don't want school sex ed. Or if they are female led, I don't, they came here to learn, not to learn, understand that they're children. Well, when you have the highest rate of teen pregnancies and underage teen pregnancies, you still don't think that that's what they should come to school to learn? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Like, you want to teach us our, about our body, but don't teach us about our body. And then give us a credit for it, too. Right. A half of one, too. It's not even a full credit. <laughs> yeah, because that is the one that you have to take for half a year. Right? And that's if you even have sexual education or health economics in your school, middle school, or high school. Or college, for that matter. Some colleges do not accept that <laughs> as a as a. Yeah, it's well, a curriculum at all. I, th- I think when I took uh, I took health uh, twice in high school for some strange reason. And how long did you spend on women's reproductives? It, it. But how long do you remember the horror stories of all the STDs? Yeah, I know it was a lot of talk about that. There you go. That's how long they spend on that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not. I'm not quite. I think the only class that that was touching on reproductive systems was child development. And that's on the basis of you having. So you said, I didn't have child development. You want to know what spent more time on the reproductive system? Science. And I'm about to say stuff, <laughs> stuff, stuff like that. Well, you, you learning about plants, guys. That's where you're going to learn about reproduction. Yeah. Systems. Like that. And that, how they mate that, and that how they reproduce. Yeah. Science. Chromosomes. Not your health class, but science. Not your health class, but what? Home ec? And not even that. Here's a bag of flour, here's an egg. Go be a parent. You have to budget this out. It touches on nothing about communication. It touches on nothing about understanding who you are. It touches on nothing about loving yourself first. None of that. Okay. None of it. Which is sad. It is. Yeah. It was, and, and if we did talk about it, it was like a brief. Brief. A brief touching. Because I, I really. I can give you the whole seminar right now. Ready? Yeah. You can time me on it. Ready? Let me let me know when to start. Um, go. So, for males, you are gonna take the banana, put the condom on the banana. Boom! I'm done. I'm going to females. You're gonna. Oh wait, not a lot of people know anything about female condoms. So, abstinence. Yeah, just don't do it because you'll get pregnant and then you'll get diseases. And boys, you better take that condom and uh, you put it. Not a lot of teachers are comfortable talking about it, so I'm done. How long was that? Uh, 30 seconds. There you go. And then grade you on it. Yeah. And you better get every STD right. <laughs> I didn't name all of them. <laughs> yeah. But you better name it right. So why do you feel like why do you feel like it's a? Uh, it feels like going off what you're saying, and then from I guess experiencing from school, why you feel like the female is kind of like. It seems like nobody really wants to. We were second class citizens at first. Keep that in mind. It wasn't about what, not even 60 years ago, we got the right to vote. Okay. So you feel like that's why. Correction. Most, most women (laughs) got the right to vote. Okay. Less years for that one. Most teachers were men. Let me be clear. Most to all doctors were men. Facts. So men who don't have vaginas, don't have vulvas, don't have clitorises, don't have inverted access. They can't We most men who can't, who don't have to like physically, unless they are ailment, have to sit on a toilet. Mm -hmm. We're telling women about their bodies. Right. Like I recently learned that I have this thing and I cannot pronunciate it to save my life. And honestly, there's nothing I can do about it where my boobs are overly sensitive to the point that they hurt. And I'm not, you know, with child, not in menopause, not that I know of, not at 30, but this was happening when I was like 25. Okay. And I couldn't explain to anybody, but like I was in excruciating pain. 
do you think I knew to go to a doctor to go like check that out? Or I just toughed it out? Uh, probably toughed it out. Toughed it out, Bob. When I finally went to go ask somebody about it, it was my female doctor. She's like, oh, yeah, that's called such and such. And I'm like, the hell? Why ain't nobody tell me that? Right. Because it's literally, it's like, we can't really fix anything till you tell us what's wrong. Right. Most of us are taught not to talk about it at all. At all. So what did you think, like, from that experience, what did, what did you think, like, what's going wrong? If, you know, your chest area is in a bunch of pain. Was it consistent pain? <sighs> what I it? thought was, oh, no, I'm going to end up with ginormous boobs. <laughs> that was my fear. <laughs> okay. So you thought they were just growing. I just thought they were growing. Because, again, I got my sex talk at, what, eight? I got, th- I got my sex talk because I got the period talk. And I asked questions. Mm-hmm. My mom was like, she rather I ask her than... Well, we didn't have Google at the time, so I had to go ask my friends. Okay. And I lived in the hood where teenage pregnancies was not uncommon. Okay. Underage teenage pregnancies weren't uncommon. Right. Girls were getting their periods at like 9, 8, 10, 12, 13. Right. So I got the talk because my mom was like, just in case I was an early bloomer, I got to let you know what's going to happen. Okay. So that's why I ate. I don't know why. I, honestly, like I said, maybe she should have said it a little earlier than eight. But teach her own. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But my mom wasn't an uncomfortable parent about it. Like she rather I had talked to her about it. But I feel bad for any of my friends who like never got it, or they got the version I just gave you <laughs> that thirty second. Yeah, I I I, I kind of if my mom did give me a talk, I I don't remember. So I'm you just, should remember. It should be hella awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to think. Like. Um, I guess because I've always been like a private person anyway, then it's kind of just like, I don't think I never gave all. Like, you, I got questions. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I, I, cause it's like. Well, honestly, and that's not weird. Most males don't really think to talk about it either because the same reason for girls don't bring stuff up. Where did you learn it was okay to talk about it? With your friends. With your friends only. Yeah. Or like it's like or they just like like you said, they just brush up on it in school and then you just all right, well I know everything. The now. things I heard about after my mom gave me that talk or the things I was um not previous to, like that I was exposed to, like people were telling me. Right. I'm like, I'm glad she talked to me first. I'm so glad I was able to ask questions first. Okay. So to get back to this show, because mm-hmm. that was the history, you know, the stigma, the how much is not talked about. Okay. It went on to self-pleasure and understanding positive body identification. Okay. Not in like, the, oh my God, I love yourself or whatever. Sounds. It was no, you, you should learn what, what pleasures, what pleases you. Like the show is still about pleasure. Okay. Not in the penis and vagina kind of way. Okay. Just simply on what brings you joy. You should bring you joy. But again, going back to no one taught you that. So it's kind of in a way of it, te- it teaches you, you know, what do you like about yourself? What do you find attractive about yourself? Not what society said was attractive. It could be your earlobe. It could be the way your hair grows out your scalp. It could be the way your toe curved to the left. I don't know. Okay. For me, back then, um, I, I, I'm gonna go. So for I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go a little older. I'm gonna say I realized, like I told you, I was cute. Mm-hmm. I, I was I was I was bragging on myself for a second, just cause just for context. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, she was. So then she sat down too. I did. I was like, I was, I'm, yeah. I'm cute today. Um, <laughs> and matter of fact, I'll go back to that example. So I I struggle with the little bit of weight that's in my stomach like most women do right to the point where i can only see that i look pregnant not that i look fat not that i look like i love to eat i just think i look pregnant um to expound upon that but i was really feeling this dress i like the color i like the way it lays on my thighs yeah my, my legs to me are one of my favorite things that i like about myself it has always been one of the things i liked about myself mm-hmm. so 
I don't focus on the stomach part that much. I get addressed that, yes, it's kind of tight fitting, but it's loose. Lays on the legs. Okay. I liked it. I took a shirt because I'm just chilling with my friend. I was like, I don't really want to wear the same dress I wore yesterday. <laughs> okay. I made it into a new outfit. So I have another shirt that used to fit fairly well, but it doesn't come over my my newly formed stomach. So we're going to keep this skirt. We got a skirt today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The dress is now a skirt. And I was like, yo, I like, I really like my dress, but there, I can, re- I can really honestly tell you that's recent. And then to go back again to middle school, middle school, Mary would have wore hot ass pants. I'm talking full leaf jean pants. For real? And it's like, what, 90 degrees outside? Yes, uh, my computer says 95 right now. And I would have been in, in jeans and I wouldn't have cut the sleeves off this shirt because my eczema was really bad. And I had hair on my arms, and I didn't want no one to see it. You had hair on your arms? Yeah. <laughs> I still do. I really do. And that would have that, that was, I think, 14 or 13-year-old. No, matter of fact, 12 to 13-year-old Mary right. would have worn hot-ass pants, jeans, full-length shirt, and told you I was fine. <laughs> I'm not hot at all. Right. Because you adapt to it. Right. Um, younger than that, Mary Whitney came outside. <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> I would have just been out front, chilling. What about high school? Playing with myself. High school, believe it or not, I had a friend, like, play connect the dots with my eczema scar. That's a good friend, okay. <laughs> the bestest friend. Yeah. <laughs> at the time. The bestest friend. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She, like, made me feel like, what? You don't care? Like, she didn't tease me for it. Right. She did tease me for the hair on my arm, but like at this point, I was used to that. Yeah. I don't actually believe it or not. I did not know a lot of girls with hair on their arms. I knew a few. Yeah. That was, um. Yeah, that's not. But they were like super fucking pretty. I was like, ah. Oh, you know, genetic lottery much? It's it's funny. It's funny you say that because it's like when I when I went to Jackson, one of the girls that I had a crush on, she was like super pretty, but she was like light skin, and she had hairy arms. And I, re- I bet you no one noticed the arms. They, they, no, we, cause the thing was, we were so we were so heavy Joan Joan centric that we would Joan on her a lot. But it's like it didn't matter because it's like at the end of the day, you still pretty as shit. See, at least you got Joan. I didn't get Joan. I got bullied. Yeah, see, that's 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 different, and I I feel bad. Which is why I told you. See, he just proved my point, ladies and gentlemen. You got a pretty, and you got uh, you got average. No, no, <laughs> but. I can't see. I can't refute that because I didn't know you when you was in middle school. But that's my thing. So wait, I can only speak from when I met. When I, I don't know if you'll know this person, but I'm gonna just make up another person because I don't think you'll know this person. This person went to Forest Hill when I was still there, and uh, I don't. I don't know what grade. Shut up! Don't try to make it seem like you. No, because I just don't know if that person was there when you were there. Like I just don't yeah, know. I'm trying to make it seem like I'm all. I was. I was oh, are you five years before me? No, because no, I don't know. I don't know the person's name. Like I. I'm three years older than her, y'all. See, you, know, you left the same year I got there. That's what you would know him. I just don't know if you would know. Like I can't I'm describe not, the person to where you would know who I'm talking about, especially because we all wore the same clothes. Like I'm trying to yeah. figure out what would I can. So were they were they were they with green? Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. But like, so I gotta go. I'm gonna I'm gonna use me. Like I, you know, I don't. I, you've seen my my pictures. I not changed. I looked just like this. Okay. So what I learned. Going back to like they're talking about understanding your body and me saying, yo, there's a difference between average pretty, you know, non, not someone's type pretty, which I'm not going to say ugly. I'm just going to say it's not someone's type. Okay. Or I'll say traditionally unattractive. I'll say that. Let's just say not someone's type. Not not someone's type. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> versus somebody who's really, really pretty. When they get joned or teased, they're still getting boys talk to them. They're still getting treated a certain type of way. You like t- we talked about like expectations. You like, weren't getting that? Oddly enough, yes. no, come on. no, come believe on. it or not, be- and I say believe it or not, like I had a crush on this boy. The fact that he started to like dive in on us, like you can physically see on my face, like it was hurting my feelings. Did not care. That I that so that's one boy though. One no, boy. I general. wish it was one. I wish it was one. It it continued. Like I like believe it. Like and I'm the sweetest, nicest person in the world. That shit used to hurt. And this was middle school, or this is this was elementary through middle school. This is why I don't like to talk about my elementary middle school days. Okay. I literally changed. I don't know what it was after middle school. I don't. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. That's a lie. Look good. Getting no 
getting a better group of friends is what changed. I mean, that could be part of it, but having girls that would beat a bitch <coughs> ass for you will, will make you feel better <laughs> about yourself. <laughs> Shout out to my friends from high school. <laughs> in the uh, circle. You're part of that circle, so keep that in mind. In high school I wasn't. Yeah, you're te- technically, yeah, that's my high school life. I wasn't. You were. Because remember, you're you, not you that you much older than me. You weren't, you weren't even nice to me in high school. That is a lie. That is, just that is lying what, that on is this the, podcast. I'm going to get back to this way. topic yeah, ahead. let's get back to the topic. So, but that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure her expectation of mine was very much different. Like, she's like, oh, she's going to take it. She's, gonna, she's cute because she's still going to. Like, her view of herself didn't diminish. Mine did. I really believed everything that was being said. Okay. Whereas, like I said, because again, it was it was attached to not only am I getting the Jones, I'm getting the T's, the people I like don't like me because again, not tra- you know traditionally, but I'm not the really pretty girl with the hairy arms. I'm the okay girl with the hairy arms, and that's literally it was. Mm, I got into a, going back to my middle, my elementary school days, mm-hmm. morning side to be exact. You went to morning side, yeah. Okay. Morning side to be exact. Man, this man. girl, she I was a new girl, why. came, and I don't know what she was mixed with, but she was mixed with something. Um, and not in like the white, white and black mix. I mean, she was mixed with something like she, she wasn't tradition, like she wasn't African American. She was something and something. So, her hair on arms, okay. thick eyebrows, but she was really pretty. Like, I'm not saying that I was cute. I was a cute little fourth grader. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> or third. I think it was this had to be the three, the third or fourth grade. But I want to say fourth grade. Um. Because I can't, I can't really remember when this was. I kind of think I blacked most of that out. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. <laughs> but um, we'll say third or fourth grade, and she gets there, and people are flocking to her, and I'm like, okay, so they don't care that she has hair on her arms. I like, I'm not gonna get teased about that this year, because I just <laughs> moved to Maryland when this happened. Okay. <clears throat> so I was new. She was new. She was new, literally like halfway through the year. I I came like the school year had started. But like I came, I like by the time my mom signed me up, school had already started. Okay. So I'm like, bet no one, no one said nothing to me. No one bothered me really yet. Like I, I have no bullies just yet. Key word was it just yet. So she gets there. Traditionally pretty, like I had not, I had no issues with this girl. Never like I said, you know, the traditional teacher makes everybody says hi. Okay. <clears throat> I peep her arms. It's her, this other really big light skinned boobed girl, and um, it was another girl, but I really I don't know her name, and she she had to been shorter than me. Mm-hmm. So now look at I just gave you different body types, okay, different ethnic, like we're all black, but some form of black. Right. The big boobed girl did not get teased for the hair on her arms. Okay. The girl that was a little shorter than me, a little prettier, just a little bit, but like we were both, equal. I thought we were both averagely pretty. Mm-hmm. The girl with the big boobs, averagely pretty. I'm not even looking at the boobs part just yet. But I start to peep. So, you know, boys are now starting to start pick on girls. The school year goes on. I'm the only one getting teased for having hair on my arms. Okay. And it's like, there's other girls in this room with hair on their arms. Like, come on now. I couldn't get no break. I'm a little scrawny. Very, like, very small. You're very petite, yes. So it's like, okay, so maybe if I had bigger boobs, they wouldn't mess with me. Like, I immediately start picking with myself. Mm-hmm. Or maybe if I had prettier looking face, they wouldn't pick with me. Maybe if I was shorter or, or taller, they would not pick with me. I immediately start saying stuff's wrong with me. Okay. Whereas I'm sure when they probably did someone's pick on their arms... People were still talking to them. People still wanted to hang out with them. People were still all up in their face. And as a fourth grade girl, seeing all that, I literally started picking myself apart. That's fucked up. Right. It's like, so from a young age, I'm really taught to like, so we're not all the same. Yeah. We do come in different shades and shapes. However, it depends on what somebody is called gonna call pretty. Which is also very true. And how and it it affects how you get treated. 
it, it also could be a, a a form in the sense of like maybe you were new. That can play into it. No, like that was my first time moving to Maryland. Like that's what I'm saying. Like all these kids have gone to school together before. That's like I saying. found that out. Right. So that's so it, it, that, it's that, that, that too. Be, yeah, that could be that too. But I, again, I, I went new that school myself. year. You know. But again, so I'm again. Me and this girl, same height, same thing. So it's just like, bro, I'm just, I'm pretty sure she got teased for the hair on her arms. Like, I don't, I don't think that she felt bad. And all, let me be clear, I know for a fact she didn't feel bad. She definitely told me she knew she was prettier than me. <laughs> we eventually, later but on at, in the at, school year, got the, into a fight. But at the, at the end of the day, that's kind of subjective too, though. Uh, obviously. See, the weirdest thing is, the reason we ended up getting into a fight was not because I had some beef with, I told you I had no beef with this girl. Right. None. I got in a fight with her over somebody else. And not a dude, y'all. I swear to God. I was defending someone else. Okay. And apparently, the person she thought I guess she could take was me. Okay. <clears throat> Told you. We were about the same height, same sizes, different race, whatever. Tearing arms. We was, we was, we was. Sa- I th- Again, I'm not saying yes, she's pretty. But I'm like, damn, like, all right, we both. I didn't think I was ugly, so it was like I'm going with that, okay? But I was small, so I'm the girl I was defending is a little thicker than me at the time. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, you know who I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell you about this later. Okay. <laughs> you asked me who this was story about. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. I was defending her because <laughs> don't test her; she will fight you. <laughs> okay. And we would t- stick up for each other. Like she, I had a friend in this class. Believe it or not, I had another friend in this class. That's why I say it is definitely still the people you keep around you. She stood up for me though. This particular person was sticking up for me, like publicly, sticking up for me. Like she, she fought a couple of girls for me. Okay. <laughs> she, she also cussed out a couple of dudes to leave me alone. Like it was just come, it was, it was getting relentless. Mm-hmm. It was like unnecessary. Why pick out on me? But I again, I was, I was pretty small. So she, <laughs> I guess, the person she wanted to, I guess, get in my face was like me. Like, we didn't fight over looks or a boy or nothing like that. I just think she thought she could take me. Okay. So, I learned that I I am very small. So, no, don't test me. I'm not fighting y'all. I will grab a brick. (laughs) Okay. I am about that brick life, okay? (laughs) I know I can't take you. So, I kind of like, I I really think I learned, especially my brother, I can say unconsciously helped me learn how to sharpen my tongue. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going back at her. But I'm going back at her intellectually. I'm going back. Like, oh, my grades are better than hers. Like, <laughs> okay. Like I pay more attention. Like you know, stupid stuff. We're fourth graders. We really didn't right. argue about real shit. Right. So, one of her lines was like, "She's prettier than me." She gets. She was like, "It was just. It was so stupid. Like, like it stuck out to me though. Like all, all the stupid shit that like, she was prettier than me. Like she was more popular than me. I hit her with none of that." I didn't even attack her looks at all. Okay. And it hit me that damn. Not only did you think, not only was I had no beef with you, you just knew you were prettier than me. Or damn. Was, or she just was very confident. And you, you could be confident, but yeah. I mind you, out of everything I said, I never attacked that girl's looks. Right. Never. And that that stuck with me. Like she picked, like oh that 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 went on for like a, I think that entire week, to the point I had enough. She I think tried to put her hands on me. I pushed the dog shit out of her. Okay. <laughs> she left me alone. I was like, yo, <laughs> I just couldn't take it. Ironically, you know this this neighborhood small. I go to school with the same group of people, and the same dudes that was in my class teasing me then I end up in the same class with these people. And the same jokes we get told to the point where I told you I started believing everything. Okay, got you. Like, cause it's like when you deal with that sh- that stuff that young, all the time, and again you see the same group of girls getting different treatment based off how technically pretty they are. You nitpick yourself. Okay. So the averses of that is, in the show they go, hey, well, we're gonna unteach you that. This is what's pretty about you. This is what it can literally be the fact that you can recite the dictionary from A to Z backwards. Right. That can be hella attractive about you. That can bring you pleasure. I said, what the fuck? 
I'm sitting here boiling down my pleasures or what I find attractive about me down to stuff that's physical. Never thought to me that you do it to stuff that was mental. Yeah. Or my abilities. It's a combination. And I mean, I, I pretty much do that now. Like, as I've been growing more into understanding my body or what I like about it. But I say that long-winded story to say, basically, like, I had to claw my way to be like, oh, yeah, I'm the shit. <laughs> okay. Some days. Like, it's not every day, but some days. Like, I try to go back now and retrospectively think about that situation. I still don't know why she chose to pick on me. I mean, that's it could have been just... I still don't know why she chose the ring looks into it. But deep down, I was like, maybe that had nothing to do with me. It probably didn't. Probably did and now you went all these years. I didn't, I don't even think it's like years. It's just, it was a combination, not just her voice, but like other words that was echoed to me before I moved here. Like I got bullied really bad before I moved here to, to Maryland. Okay. Unbeknownst to anybody. Yeah, you didn't know that. Yeah. So, I think my best friend knows that. If she don't, she know now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's a little bit before her. But, um... Because I'm non-confrontational. So, like, the person who I told you defended me, like, st- we was cool. Okay. Like, I had they back, like, forever. <laughs> they had, they, they don't know it, but I got they back forever. <laughs> <laughs> don't right. let me hear you talking about this person. I will snitch. <laughs> okay. Well. I will tell. And I, will, I hope she does come beat them up. <laughs> I hope she's still confrontational because I am not. <laughs> Peace. No, no peace. We choose violence. No, okay. <laughs> don't choose violence, people. Don't don't yeah, do don't, that. Don't listen. Don't listen to her. That's the. That's the. I'm the shit side coming out. You know. <laughs> probably is. I'm not gonna lie. Probably is. Yeah. Probably is. Um. But no. So, they basically tried to like get you to understand like you can't love all on someone else's body and not love all on yours. Okay. Knowing what makes you feel the best can help you with your relationships. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to speed the conversation up a little bit. Okay. Because it was more about, like, understanding what you need for yourself, understanding what makes you feel great everywhere and all the pleasurable endeavors. However, that's not what shocked me. So going back to this, um, the body thing. Uh Did you know? (laughs) (laughs) Did you know? Um, This is where it gets PG rated. The clitoris little thing, the look it's not just a little dot. It's kinda like a whole plethora of stuff. Just it's like the top little piece. I'm trying to like y'all I'm saying it yeah, like y'all can see what I'm doing. She's trying, trying to make diagrams with her fingers and I know. am. So it's like the little hood part, ladies. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so for some gentlemen, that part that y'all think y'all just y'all messing with just the top part of that tongue when you are applying pressure, apparently with your fingers, you're you're gyrating, you know, skin to skin. If you know you're penetrating, you're stimulating more than just that piece internally. Oh, okay. Now I watch endless videos. I mean, I've seen endless diagrams of, of this is your vagina, mm-hmm. this is your clitoris, this is your uterus, this is this. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention. (laughs) I don't think I was paying attention. Because my brain went, well, no wonder that's hard for me to achieve orgasms that way. Or no wonder when when I'm messing with certain type of people or certain sizes of people, stuff is different. Right. I was like, hmm, informational. Go watch the show, guys. Informational. But I'm just saying, like, on, on a female part, Mm-hmm. It was basically talking about how, you know, it's it's taboo to talk about masturbation or, or you know, self exploring anywhere in any field. Okay. Do you feel like it's hard for males to talk about it? Because girls can we 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 don't talk about it, but then we do. We we endlessly end up doing like okay, so like, do you do it? And if a girl lies and says she doesn't, because again, you're embarrassed about it. But do is it embarrassing for guys to talk about it? Or y'all just it's, it's out in the open. I, I think it's I think it's out in the open. Um, now if you, if you're talking about speaking on it, like outside of like a core group of friends or something like that, then maybe it might be a little different, but nah, there's been plenty of times we've been, you know, having talks around at, at the park or at the core, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it, it's, it's, I also say even before it was cool. Cause now it's just cool to talk about anything sexual nowadays. 
Like <laughs> clearly, I just told you it was on TV. Like what? Yeah, so, that would have never been. A, it would have been a special on late night. Television. Right, right, right. So it, it's so it's so normal to anything sexual is just like, but even before it was like this. Nah, nah. This was, I mean, everybody does it. So. We'll see. Okay, so that that's what they're talking about in this show for the oh. body image part. It's just more common for y'all to be out in the open with it, and for us women to just kind of learn what pleases us so we can please you, but. Now it's more like, nah, learn what pleases us so we can please each other. Right. Which is, which okay. I, which Go I watch the show. It's on Netflix. Yeah, which I agree with. It's a pleasure. That's the name of it. Yeah. So dude, dudes, it just kind of, at least when we were younger, it kind of stemmed from like, I guess, porn. Facts. So they, they talked about that. So I'm, so I'm not going to hit on porn to like last. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit on porn last. But yeah, maybe no. not last, but like maybe second, because I think that was the second thing. Okay. But yeah, that was the that was like just the foundation of like why it's comfortable to speak on it. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I start out the out of the ordinary. Facts. Yeah. I'm not gonna just be. I mean, you're not gonna just hear me standing around my dude. Oh yeah, well you know I did be my dick last night. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Believe it or not, I thought you said that. No, no, not because I thought it, because I've seen it happen. Like I've heard stories about, like, oh yeah, we was uh chilling and we was watching this porn, and then I saw so and so's, and we just kept going, and like, there's no so and so's penis size. I'm like, bro, you, you just openly saying that? <laughs> yeah, that's. You mean like they were just they were watching the porn and did it, or so, like they were in the same room, like as, as another dude? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought y'all was able to just sit there and then just no, that's it's a party, you know, no. not like that. I, I, I don't, I don't, and not in a, like a weird way either. I just thought it was casual, like it's like, oh, no, shorty on this movie looking child good. No, nah, that's not. I don't know unless it's something I don't know, but I know as far as like me and probably my friends go, I don't know. I, 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 you know what? It's like if the conversation went that way, it ends up being brought up. It wasn't just like, oh yeah, we all in the same spot, same place. Yeah, I, I, I just like that story. Make it seems like like porn is just like a super spectacle or something. It is a spectacle. It, we don't care okay, what you. Okay, all right, all right, yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> like that's a hell of a spectacle to be like, I'm sitting here next to my man and be like, yo. Hold on, let me get this. You I'm know, pretty I'm, sure we're saying this in a support out there somewhere that, that already took this storyline. It, it, it probably, like, well, now that you tell the story, I mean, <laughs> I don't put nothing past nobody. I don't. That's not my group of friends, though. However, so the thing, okay, because I'm going to get into the, the topic of it, so I'm going to switch it. Okay. It goes into mental, because I've learned, thanks to a very special friend, he know who he is, shout out. Because I learned that I am a very mentally stimulated person. Yeah, I think I, I think once you explain what it is, I think I'm going to be that too. So it's like mentally, it's like best way I could explain it. You playing a video game as a guy, you watching sports, you at the game. Men get aroused literally off of the brin- the wind had blew a special way. Your your leg and something hit something. But it's not that y'all are initially saying, dang it, this is so tantalizing that it's turning me on. Women don't get, some, I'm not going to say all, Yeah, some. some women don't get like that. So it's not like, oh, the wind blew the right way. <laughs> I'm ready to do my man, partner, whomever. Okay. And I was like, yeah, that, that's true. But something that they said that shocked me was the mental part. Like, and how specific it can, it goes with how you feel about yourself. Which, again, shout out to my friend because I I knew this much. That's not what, like, shocked me. That first part did. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But they were saying, like, when you know which, oh, so you're going, so mentally, when you know how you feel about your body, when you know you're confident about your body, you know what pleases you, you know what what turns you on and all the other stuff, Mm -hmm. when you get on to, like, putting it into practice which is now you're you went from the understanding to the mental part the mental part goes into i know this makes me feel good or i i can think about um a time that this felt nice and it's now sending signals down to hey we like this right yes yeah, i have a strong disconnect between 
my brain in in the actual motion. It oh. was like, I guess we're doing this now. Okay. It wasn't, hey, this feels nice. We should we should we should go with this. It was just, I guess we're doing this. This is happening. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. To the point where I had to start telling like my partner, I was like, hey, yeah, I'm sorry. You were just sitting here playing the game. I don't know what the hell just turned you on, but no, I don't want to do anything. Right. <laughs> we were just what? <laughs> like, no, I'm like, okay, if you want to, if you want, to, I'm, I'm now I'm aware that you want to do something, but you now have to get me to wherever the hell you just got. <laughs> right. And then that's just the that's just the tip of that. Okay. For people who are just mentally stimulated, it's not just petting like kissing and hugging and then being in the heat of the moment i'm a little bit more i'm have to think about the fact that you know you helped me out with with a bill later (laughs) like you did something sweet you did like i have to really yeah okay push that i think we're in the same i think we're in the same boat then and it's like it's different for someone who like again i'll say it two ways like for someone who yes gets turned on by someone the way they walk that's a blessing to somebody and a curse to somebody. Right. And then versus again, where you're only stimulated in the act. That that's a curse and a blessing too. Okay. Um, because I think I've dated someone who literally is like, "Oh, I, we can go any day, all the time, multiple times." And I'm just like, I, I, "What? <laughs> what is what is mentally like? What's going on up there?" Uh, that person's an animal. That's what that is. <laughs> I don't know. Um, versus me, where it's like, mind you, I told you he done did all this work. I don't, I don't let him put down the game. We're in the act. I finally got like to the point where I'm able to be turned on. Now you got to keep my attention because my brain will start wandering again. Like if you're not wholly confident in yourself and you're not able to relax in that state either, I'll start thinking about did I wash the clothes? How much laundry I got to do? <laughs> okay. Is this boring? Oh my God, am I thinking too much? Not the fact that I don't know how to shut my brain off. I just don't. Like now I'm just still going. Like I didn't know that that was a thing that you can teach yourself. Right. Didn't I know that I like taught myself to disassociate while in the act? And me and you talk. So that, that shocked me. Go ahead. Like that shocked me. Right. I was like, what? I mean, I knew I, could, I knew I disconnected from sex sometimes. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I taught myself to like that was a way of me teaching myself to disconnect because I was, I got so used to just getting lost in my head and not being present in the moment. And it it came down to so do you like how you look when you're naked? Do you like your partner <laughs> when they're naked? Right? Are you like did you did did you want candles in a a, a bed? Like, did, is this a good environment to be doing this in? Why are you here? Like, when you're not, when you're comfortable and you're in the moment, sex is so much better. Right. I've had moments where I've I've learned to get there, but I've learned now looking back. Oh God, how much about myself and how much about sexual stuff on my own sexual stuff I just didn't know. And how many people I was, like, getting advice from who probably didn't know either. <laughs> right, right. That'd be the thing. The because blind it, leading the blind. Because I said something, like, I learned this thing. And I learned it because I was talking to these girls. These girls were younger than me. Mm-hmm. And I was at a party, believe it or not. <laughs> this this usually happens. I end up meeting girls and, like, they'll tell me their life stories. Even though, again, I think I was probably single at the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I disconnect from stuff. Like, they're, like, telling me their advice and asking me for stuff. And I'm like... Well, I don't know, but I like from what I heard, men have a tendency, and this this is going by say I'm gonna save porn for like last, Mm -hmm. or at least maybe this segment. Okay, y'all are never taught this. Like we're not taught to pleasure ourselves. Y'all aren't taught how to truly please a girl to where she gets off. You're taught to please yourself to you get off. It it depends on, and then you're taught. By practice, because no one taught anything. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it depends on like who who taught. I think I I just was fortunate that the first person I had sexual intercourse with was a teacher, not a teacher like that taught at a school, but she was willing. She was to, able to like tell. She was willing to show me like the ropes about everything. Facts. Yeah. So the thing that they said, the thing that porn takes out of everything is communication. 
Yeah. Porn. Por- por- <laughs> I mean, they talk. Por- We're not por- saying they don't talk. We're saying communicating. Yeah, porn por- <laughs> por- por- doesn't really do nothing, but it, it gives you that visual. It, it, yeah. It stretches, I learned about audio. It stretches your audio imagine. porn. I didn't know that was a thing. I yeah. didn't learn about that. It that, stretches your imagination. That, that, that bothered me. It gives you a good imagination. That's what porn does. But if you're not a if you're for yeah if you're not a visual person who can you know get off on what's going on presently yeah but if you can now that's just this is, this is yeah. like for me personally I had to tell people they didn't think this I was like yo I stopped watching porn it was not doing that I started critiquing the porn yeah yeah I kind of feel the same like I don't. I'd be like, yo, this is hilarious. <laughs> like, you start laughing at the bad acting. You st- when you're when the yeah, sexual it, acts, you're fat. No, when you get to fast forwarding through the sexual, you you shouldn't be watching porn. Yeah, it's like it for me. It just really doesn't. Outside of like maybe the girl moaning, but even so, that's why I said. So there's now a thing that I just I don't think I thought about. For some people, what if it's not visual? What if it's literally the audio? Because I've had a couple of guys be like, oh. Like, when I first started having sex, I, I didn't know anything. I don't care what I thought I knew. I didn't know shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, it's going to... I constantly got, well, you weren't loud. Or you weren't, like, saying a lot. So I didn't think I was doing anything. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I, I think with I think with the visual thing, it's, it's always going to be visual. It might not be in the sense of that specific video. Something you might picture in your mind. Yeah. Like now, I will say, when it comes to that, I am a fantasizer. So would you say it was audio and not visual after that? To me, it's both, but I can't take the visual from the actual porn. Okay, well, see, th- that's where I think I may have gotten myself into. What you mean? Audio. Yeah, I'm. I'm more. I'm more so like. Like I, I, I clearly stated, I didn't watch any more porn. Right. But if, like, I'm what? watching a movie, and mind you, they don't pretty much show certain stuff in movies. Cert- certain movies. Right. It's the audio that would still be like, okay, you know what? Something happening. I don't yeah. know. Sure. But I didn't think it was the audio from hearing it because, again, it didn't show anything. And when they said it, I was like, the fuck? Yeah. Like you don't gotta watch when you can just listen to it. What? Yeah, I, I kind of in the sense. Probably, I probably would have still watched. Technically, listened to porn if I knew that sooner. Like I kind of, I kind of in a sense get that, and for me, it's more, it's more so like I am mentally stimulated. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So when it comes to like porn, I can't be. I, I don't. I don't have a connect. I don't know this girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So but it's th- like that goes back to again. Y'all aren't taught feminine pleasure. You're just taught no. You you pleasure. you could you could be you can be. You know what I'm saying. But it, that's if a girl is again going back to the first understanding your body and understanding your mind. Right. If she can connect to that, she can like the girl taught. You, right. She can tell you what she likes. Ninety five percent of us do not know what we like. We are used to being human toys to men. Right. And it, and this so it just comes. Which down was to the like, go, which going back to that story, which I said anyway, those girls were being human toys. Right, and it, it just comes down to like one, like you said, you're either going to be a human toy or you're going to be a teacher. But it still comes down to like the person you're dealing with. I might not give a fuck about pleasing you, but um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that, it all depends. Unconscious part, I say both men and women learn the same thing from porn. We don't learn to communicate. Cause I don't, uh, I say this, and I think do think I'm joking when I say it. If I gave one person head, and they, and I mean that one person for like two, four, five years, I'm not gonna go to my next relationship giving the same head. That person is not the other person. That person's likes and dislikes are not gonna be this person's likes and dislikes. Vice versa. Say. I'm very comfortable with my sexuality, so I'm giving multiple men head or women, whomever. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to keep giving everybody the same head game. Like That's not how everybody works. But porn does not say that. Porn Ooh. does not teach that. Well, porn, we're, does, porn does show you that, though. Not really. It does. It does show. Cause it shows you different styles, different right. formats, different kinks, but it's not sitting there saying, hey. Well, it's not. It's not. 
it's do not, you like to be tickled from this way or that way? It gotta, just does it. <laughs> you got to understand, like, porn is not here to teach us. It's here to entertain. So you don't, they don't have to. They don't. Let's be clear. Where do most men learn how to have sex? But but you, it, it's not meant to teach you, right? But so, it's so indirectly say, it's taught. But it's not supposed to though. So you can't you can't be like oh. But where else was anybody supposed to learn this stuff? That goes back to what I said in the beginning. Yeah, per- where yeah, were we supposed parents. to learn this? Your parents, uh, obviously, schools don't. What parents? The same parent that told you the thirty second. <laughs> Yeah, that's Put what, the that's condom what, on. Don't bring no saying. babies that's who, in my house. But that's, who, that's who you need to keep. Don't bringing. get no STDs. Don't that, tell me how you, I'm gonna get the STD. That's who you need to keep bringing up, though. You can't. You can't keep pushing it towards porn. Like you gotta understand. That's a. That's. That's a also business. why I told you. I told you I'm gonna save porn for less. Yeah, that's a business. But that's why I go back because it's not just on men's responsibility. When you take sexual education out of it, when you want to regulate what we as women do with our bodies, you also give us a disadvantage we don't know how to protect our bodies either okay same way men don't know how to protect theirs either because when i tell a man i say hey have more self-respect for yourself tell that girl no i constantly get what does gay i'm not gonna do that yeah that's or what i'd be lucky if a girl even you know like me enough to do no no (laughs) yeah i mean i don't i don't blame when when guys say stuff like that i don't blame them because it is it can be rather difficult. But it should not be. But it is. Which again, no matter, no I'm going to go what, back to a saying of that's fucked up. It yeah, should but, not be. But but you got to understand like I I for like if it's if if I'm in that position, I can't just walk around being like damn, that's fucked up. No, I have to I have to roll. You got to roll with life. You got to roll with the punches. So. Life ain't like Don't think I didn't have my same example to work both ways. What you mean? So. Me and my friend was talking. This is one of my coworkers. She's a little thicker than me. And she liked this guy. He looked all right, you know. Mm-hmm. She, she, he, she was cute to her. He was all right to me. She showed me this other guy. Again, cute to her. All right to me. But I noticed her vocabulary, the way she was, you know, treating both these people were two different things. Okay. Talking to both of them. One's a little heavier set. One's fit but skinny. I think they were both the same complexion. I really can't remember complexion right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go back to what happened with me and how I grew up. She ended up sweetest guy. I think he had to be a sweet guy. I think one of the, the heavier set guys ended up being real sweet. Mm-hmm. It's not who she ended up talking to. Oh, you didn't, you didn't have to finish the story. I already knew. <laughs> hey, like, I'm, I, already, I already knew where we was going with it. <laughs> However, I really was like, damn. And I don't think it's that nice guys finish last. I just think it's. Oh, they do. They do. I don't. Here's why I say that. Because there's two types of nice guys. You got genuinely guys who don't bring this shit up. Okay. Don't even notice it. Like, they understand that they probably weren't that person's type. Deep down, it might be a blessing. And then you got. I'm going to use air quotations. The nice guy who can literally tell you everything he did for you while he was being nice. That nice guy who liked you enough to follow you home after you showed no interest. That nice guy who pretended to be your friend be until you let him hit. And then when you showed him where to go and how to get there, now y'all ain't friends. But he was a nice guy. That that same nice guy will take advantage of you. Uh, that, that's not a nice guy, though. Oh, oh no! But nice guys finish last. They do. You, so that's you're, the you're that's just, their that's you, no that's you the distorting excuse. you distorting the definition of nice guy. I'm not guy because I gave you the point. same nice guy. There's two types. That's, that's that, that, that that's nice, not a guy. nice guy. That is not the a nice, nice guy. guy. <laughs> what? But that's the thing. That's a bad guy. Let's <laughs> be clear. They're not. There are two types of nice guys. No, there's that. Yeah, there's that one nice guy. What you just does, described is not a nice guy. I don't know what in what universe you living in. That tell is not a nice that guy. to half the men in the I world. Don't know, that, that be, <laughs> have, wait, I can, I, I, I will tell clip, that I will to clip, half those men who got those I podcasts. Clip, <laughs> I will clip. I will clip this part of the podcast and post it. And every I can guarantee anybody that comment on it. It's is not say a nice you, guy, but I'm glad right. you realized that. But there are some men who think that's no, they're not. That was fine. Unfortunately, no. I mean. 
you if you guy, you're aware that that's not a nice guy, but there are some guys who sit there and be well, like, "Well, you you just said it." I don't. I don't no, I'm that's what I'm saying. Going, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to you. I, I'm I'm glad you recognize that that's not a nice guy. Yeah, mind you, you, you I said when I say this, I'm gonna have to put up air quotations because the guy I described before is genuinely a nice dude. Like this dude that she did not talk to was genuinely a nice dude. Yeah. When he when she backed off and chose oh, the other boy, he still talked to her. He was still respectful. He treated her the same. But you got the quote and unquote. I mean, he finished last. Nice guys, but they don't stay nice. Because that's because they're not nice guys. Like, but I'm glad you recognize that, though. Keep I, in point. I'm still saying I'm glad you yeah, recognize I don't, that. No, but the, thing, <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, is like that's 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 just what society is. Because you got to understand, and, and I'm gonna use your very own story. You can. You can use yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I say use I'm my use, story. I'm going to use the exact <laughs> my same story. My story is, so, is meant to be changed so and you change if you need it. So your friend, there was a good guy, and then it was the other guy that she ended up picking, and the good guy was the one that she didn't pick. The other guy probably done already experienced. But let me finish. Let me, no, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish because you, you've been cutting me off all day. Let me finish. I know. That's let true. Me, <laughs> let me finish. So... The good, the other guy probably already experienced not being picked, so it comes to a point where it's like, yo, and I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of at this ripe age that I am now. I'm still guilty of this in certain situations where it's like, it's either you can approach and do what that good guy did, or how bad do you want this girl? Like, you have to do what you got to do. To make sure you're the one that she picks, and but make sure you stay that nice guy though. It no, because it 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 depends on like what my intentions is. Facts. Like this. Never, that's why. Ne- never ne- that's why I'm still say that. No, that's yeah. why I'm still say that. I still want to say this because I don't want all the actual nice guys to get lumped into with those quote unquote nice guys because we like you said they're not nice guys. No, but the thing is, it's impossible to separate it because I want to because I have too much respect for any guy that I've sexually cut off and they've stayed my friend, or any guy I've been friends with who I mean, I've never just, given a sexual chance to that stayed nice to me. They didn't start treating me different, didn't call me on my names, and thank God nothing has ever happened to me. Yeah, that's that's you just been in a fortunate situation. But that's But that's again I've been in a fortunate that's situation. What I'm, that's what I'm, so <laughs> I'm going to separate these people. But you but I'm just saying, like, you telling the story of your friend, like I'm just letting you but know. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish that story I don't, too. <laughs> I don't I'm all I'm gonna say is So let me be clear, she did end up going to the nice guy. You didn't I, let me finish the story. I, well, that, <laughs> But that, but that still is like, look. But he, no, I wanted to say. Last, though. I wanted to say he didn't finish last. Whatever she needed to work out, she was still allowed to work out. He was lucky enough and impatient enough to let her get out. Whatever the hell. That's last. No. Would you, <laughs> That's so last. you're sitting here saying you'd rather be with somebody while they're still working out some shit, and just constantly keep not being picked and hopefully waiting to your turn. Nah. Go work out whatever issues it, it, you it, got, and when you can, or when you can mentally, emotionally, and physically handle someone like me, who's genuinely going to be this genuine person to you, I respect that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably would go the other dude's route so, <laughs> because, because it's like how many, how many in twenty twenty in the year twenty twenty two, how many people are going to hear that same old excuse? I need to get myself to get like who. How many people done heard that? Look and, and at you these turn people's around. actions, though. It, no, I'm not. I'm not. Look, life is too short for that. Th- that's life is too short to be sitting there and not and be sh- wanting somebody who don't even want themselves. You don't know. We don't know. Like we, nothing, we don't know. Nothing. So you like, sit here telling me is a, you your friend, stayed your this girl's friend. Is your friend is gambling. Let's be clear. You'd rather sit there. I'm gonna make sure I bring this back to the topic. This is what I told you. This your was friend be is good. a gambler. Your friend is. Let me be clear. You'd rather. I'll put us in. The, I'll make an example. I ain't even gonna make it you. I'll make it to both of us. Okay. You'd rather hear me tell you about everybody I've been with, gotten fucked over with. You see that I'm struggling mentally, emotionally, everything. You still rather be with that hot mess than rather me letting me get this shit together. You do you find somebody you like, be happy. You'd rather wait for me to get my shit together and then choose you? Yeah. No. Yeah. 
no. <laughs> you can say, you can, let me say you this can, as your friend right now. You can say no all you want to. Once a person, let me. Once a person wants as your friend right now. When, no. <laughs> when a person, when a person wants a person, we see it. We talk about it all the time. Like, but look no. how many, look how many people getting done wrong, and it's just like. But I would still tell you, as your friend, want better for yourself. Don't want that person right because that person that that you're chasing after right there is not the person you're going to end up with in the in the, in the long run. You're going to end up with a whole different person. Hey, that's the gamble of life. <sighs> and you and you've been there so many times. So I don't know why you. And I like, tell you all the time. Sometimes I wish my boyfriend had met me before, but then I got to understand and I appreciate who I am now because yeah, you're, we you're wouldn't have good, worked. You're a good girl now, but I'm just saying like. Nowhere near, near, nowhere near good, but we're, okay. We're, we're, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it from a whole different vantage point. Like I'm looking at things from an analytical and I'm and looking, I'm, at, I'm looking at the same way you like I told you if I was my if I was my boyfriend's best friend, I would have broke up with me a year or two years. How long have we been? It's been a minute. Right. Broke but, up there's with a, but there's a reason. But, but there's a reason why it hasn't happened. Again, he, clearly, we have all said this. Right. He loves me. I got it. But however, I constantly remind him to put himself first. Put yeah, yourself. It's easy, it's easy to first. It's easy to. Say, I don't want to hear. Oh, because women have other. Uh, no, b- make yourself not an option. It's easy. You to, shouldn't want to be an option. It's easy for to you to someone's bullshittery look, it's, fuckery. It's, 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 let me talk. It's easy for you to sit here and say that when you're in the relationship. Like that's so easy, Murray. Like that's like. But I've you're been not, that person not, outside of it too. Don't think I've never gotten rejected for that. I mean, I've been the right <laughs> choice and still wasn't the right choice for that person. And I've had to come to terms with that. I may have been the right choice, yes, but I was not the right but, per- but choice for that person. But there's situations you've been in as well where you felt like you picked the wrong person. And again, right. so, so glad that those people found people for them. I would still want that right, for the person I'm with now. Yeah, but it's like it's easy for you to say that now versus like when you were going through it, you wasn't this confident. I told him to go find the relationship he wanted. I wasn't. No, I'm, I'm talking. I'm, ta- I'm speaking like to you and like the comp. It's easy to sit back and be like, "Oh, just love yourself." We okay. All no. Been in oh, okay. Wait. No. 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 Okay. Wait. No. Then they, okay. I'll go back. I think I know what you're talking about. Right. Um. Yeah. So I've stuck it, but that's why I'm saying. I get. I guess. Okay. Let me go back. Let me bring it down. That's why I'm so adamant now. But you put gotta, yourself first. But you got to let people experience it, like how you did. You say I wouldn't it. wish that on my worst enemy. <laughs> none of none of us none of us would, but like not wish that just, on my worst enemy. But I I I, I life, have to think about what you're saying. You're yeah, right. Life doesn't you're right. it just doesn't work like that. You gotta when like, you're the same chasing way, that person, like, like it's, you, it's, it's a right. You know, you I don't even know why you sitting here fake. You know, because it was a fake. I'm saying it from a part of. I wouldn't want nobody else to go through that though. We, and again, I'm still talking about the show. We so don't, again, don't put yourself through that. We, again, it, don't put yourself through that. You can, you can say it a million times. <laughs> I'm gonna say it once, for the person who's listening, who's person, not there a, there's, yet. There's, <laughs> once a person wakes up, once a person wakes up in the morning and they they whole mindset is, I want this girl or I want this guy. But it, what about this person? Do you want though? Like, okay, I'll I'll clarify then. Be go way back to to whenever you release that listen to what that person is telling you who they are how they're going like watch how they're treating you how they're treating the situation listen pay attention because i'll say it like this in the best way i can if someone is telling you that they are a robber they're a thief they're a liar believe them right if someone is telling you, hey, this is all I do all day is smoke, drink, party, believe them. Right. <laughs> Not saying that these people cannot change, but that is who they are when you are meeting them. Pay attention. Nothing you do is going to change who they are right in there. Believe them. Right. Not saying like, I get what you're saying. You're like, you got to struggle. But people struggle are still, still going to try. Because we, we've, we've all done it. Every, everybody walking this earth has tried to change somebody that they, they knew in the back of their mind wasn't going to change. We've all or been not, there. Or not even changed. They just ignored it. <laughs> we, we know the people that just well, well, ignored that's a, that's it. A, that's a different type of obsession. Ob- obsession. Yeah. So, I'll, so I'll, I'll, but, but that's my, my heated warning. And what I'm saying. All I'm saying is nice guys for this last. I don't blame Cubs. <laughs> doing what he got to do. To but no, he, whether it works out or not. But the, okay, so let me. So the the point of that story was he ended up dating someone else. 
not her right away. Like he did not sit and wait for her to get her shit together. He went out and dated someone else. How do you even? How do you even still like a person after that? Like if a person reject me and then I end up dating somebody else, how do I? How do I find my way back? So, or did you say I work together? Let's, well, let's okay. Let's go to a more mature mind. Let's. This is not for me. When, <laughs> of course, because I, I I'm still going through life, so I'm gonna say a more mature mind. Um, so what I was told was, because I asked questions about what I what I was told to me. If something is truly meant to be. You know, down the line, we don't know. We we literally, like I said, that person who told you they were a liar, drink like, they could change down the road. I don't know. I guess. But you never know where you're going to end up at. So I think I'm going to say months had went past. She she was she chose to talk to not date, but just talk to the other guy. They did. She decided that's not who she wanted to date. She wanted to, you know, she went on did some other stuff. It's too late. Somehow they met up somewhere. Like they, he, he didn't, you know, he checked on her occasionally. She checked, you know, they talked, but it wasn't like they were talking together, like keeping in touch with each other. Okay. So they met up somewhere, and somehow, somehow started talking. Like him and the girl he he, he was with, yeah, they didn't work out. Yeah, I bet. You know why? You know why? You know. You, you, pause the story. Do you know why they didn't work out? <laughs> Do you know why they didn't work out? Why did they not work out? Because he wanted her to hold, but bro, what, 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 now you don't waste so your money. Yo. So wait, so you said subconsciously he knew. <laughs> Are you I, saying subconsciously I, I, if I had he a, knew? If I had a million dollars to put on the table right now, once you want somebody, it's not going to matter. Like, like his soul, not it, it, it moves <laughs> past your heart. I believe you. It you just said subconsciously. Your, he knew. your soul wants this person. That I mean well okay so I'll take that back. How does that work? How do you date someone and get back? Maybe we just answered that question. I think we did. He was he never he never never because they really did not keep in touch. Like she told me, like they met up. No, randomly. I believe I believe that I believe that. But nah, there, I was like, females, what? There's females I haven't spoken to in years that I still think about ever so often. Like damn, I never got a check. Yo, once it's in I your can, soul. Okay, so I can understand that. Okay, but where I'm saying you should put a risk. To have okay, so saying that, keeping that in mind, okay, I'm telling people to still have that mindset though, but don't keep chasing that person that's not chasing you, that's not showing you that they're going to be there for you. But that's, that's don't a bad keep example. doing. Why it. he 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 did it and he ended up with her. So okay, why not? But he wasn't chasing her though. But not that we know of. True. <laughs> 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 yeah, after like, what, look, after you just put it to me so plainly, yeah, that like, his like, soul yeah. magically knew. <laughs> Like, like, it I don't even know what happened to the relationship. I just know that she didn't even, like. You ain't had to say. You ain't had to as soon as you. But it's like, it just how did he? Out. Well, no, because it's like, like you saying, like, why would you go back to that person? Like he, for all he knew, Cause he her never, and old boy was together. The feelings never left. That, I'm, that's like, true. That's true. Level, I'm not gonna say that. That's that's true. The level of feelings tell it all. But let me put it this way, and I'll put myself into this more. Okay. I got at least three exes I would never go back with. Okay. And I still have love for them to this day. Now let's reverse it. Do you feel like any of your exes would ever come back to you? No. I feel like they would. No. I can name one. I can I can actually say this. One of my exes, full blown, laughed at the thought. <laughs> Not in a disrespectful kind of way, because it's like, what? We're two different people now. I can name my ex. Which ex? I'm not gonna name it on air. <laughs> I don't wanna know after that. <laughs> Y'all don't know. I'm choosing violence. I just wanna know. <laughs> yeah. But no, like I then I have another ex who it just wouldn't work. Like, when again, I'm not that same person that they dated. It would not work. How you know? Your relationship now working. The stuff that, okay, and I'm saying this and again, where I'm saying having that respect for yourself, the person I was then accepted a lot. A lot of stuff that I probably should not have accepted. Do you still talk to them? I check on them once in a while, but how I'm you, like. How you, know, how you know they're not different now? I don't want to know. Like that's that's what I'm trying I, to tell I, you too. I, 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 ain't, I ain't saying that. I'm just saying. No, you, that no. I mean, like, in the answer of like, I don't have that. Like you saying, oh boy, probably subconsciously was still thinking about her. Like I don't. The, they could be them. I don't have it. They could be them. I don't have it. Oh, Hear me out. You, Hear me out again. I'm saying I don't have it. I understand that, but like you saying, I don't know if it's somebody who's sitting there like, damn, if Mary would just give me, that, I don't know. I really don't know. But that you are the last part of the plan, so they can they can. I don't you know, but you asked me though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like your man's. Your man's got everything else in order, and then he came back at the end and was like, "So I'm not gonna say scoop. never, because you know that's not me." 
Right. But I'm saying for right now, no, I'm good. Yeah, so all, fellas, if y'all listening, all you got to do is, is wait out the storm. That's do all not gonna, wait, wait out, the, out storm. the storm for someone that's not waiting out that storm for you. It, it, fellas, it don't even matter, bro. You, you do see, not cut, tell. Cut, that's cut, no, that, cut, that's, the, and, that's you the reason why I'm saying watch this. Watch and, and, the video. And you know what? Just, that's that's some, that mindset. Some, do not your, keep that I got, mindset. I got something I would say to your friend, too, because this this is when it comes to being accountable. This is why females don't care about making the right or wrong decision. But it's again, know, I, don't the be the sitting there stalking some girl that's not stalking you back. Like I'm, like I'm saying though, it can, should not she take can pick, she four can pick, failed marriages. She could pick <laughs> three can, kids later to be like, I'm going to be with somebody. Let me get my lines off. I don't want you to tell this rhetoric to the she can world. Pick, she could pick the wrong guy because she know at the end of the day, she can always double back to the other option. And the nigga's going to be willing to accept that, like he did in this situation. So that's a problem. That's what I'm saying. Yes, it is. No, <laughs> yes, I mean, like is. that is a problem. The girls a problem too. I'm saying, yes, be accountable. I am. We were, we're agreeing talking about on that. You. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about. No, her. I'm a problem. I, I'm a problem. I'm gonna be accountable. The reason I would, I would not allow half my exes to take me back. The stuff that I that's realized it. about myself now, nah. They owe they they're they're owed some apologies. I mean that's that that it sounds good. No, but, but I wouldn't the want way to how life, the way keep how me life, at you are. You text me, make sure I'm good. You 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 like a photo every once in a while. I'm good with that. Yeah, that, I don't think I would bring anything to them. Just like I don't think they would bring nothing to me now. That's you. And but like that said, should go know, both and ways. We don't, and, we don't know how, and we don't know how life is. Like I said, if a nigga, so the show on Netflix. Please go watch. Yeah. Not listen to Avery right now. I'm, in this I'm moment. just keeping it. I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it real. That's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm like, like right now as we doing the this last, podcast. Uh, we're doing this podcast. Let me be clear. We we already touched on the third thing, which was relationships. I, we're on topic. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> we're, as we're doing this podcast, there could be somebody right now somewhere in the basement thinking within their soul that they want you right now and i'm gonna tell them this right now it, 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 go live your life find someone with like-minded and, interests and you're gonna, you gonna have them out here doing like oh boy uh, you they, mean experiencing they, life dating, dating. it's not working out you, you messing I, up other but people. like you said you gotta take that gamble why? Well, you could just wait. You just said you, you got to gamble. No, I said your friend a gambler. No, I'm I'm not. Gambler's not good. That's not good. What? Take that gamble. Go out there. No. Date. Mingle. Women, women are told to do that. Why can't men do and that? And that's why shit's so fucked up. What? No, that's. <sighs> All right. So let me ask you this, right? Let go back. Let's go back to the beginning of your story. Which one? <laughs> Are you, are you, uh, I mean, the the, the story. I we're, we're on relationships, though. Like I, I was, I know, joke, I'm I, joking, but we're seriously still so on topic. Let's, I'm so let's proud alter, of us. let's alter reality for a minute. Let's Am say I single. You, apparently, you alter reality. No. <laughs> let's say let's say your friend picked the good guy first. Okay. How would everything be different right now? They would not be together, probably. Probably, and I have to say probably because again, she has some stuff to work out that she wasn't aware she needed to work out. Why she didn't choose the other guy in the first place? So she, oh well, this is this is getting better. So she picked other cousins as a sacrifice. Is what you're saying? That's crazy. You mean doubling like how That's they crazy. met back up and ended up together? No, or like, I'm talking about the other guy. And, the other guy, yeah. No, so it's like, and this is okay. I guess let me let me see if I'm making this point so clear. He was a sacrifice. No. That's what it sounds like. Okay, but, okay, bet you know me. You you pretty much know me since I was like 15, 16. Right. You know pretty much all the guys I've talked to. Right. Unfortunately. Would you date me then or me now? Um, Both. Which one do you think would have elevated your life? Um, You now. So why waste time with me then? Because. And do that, you. Th- whoa, whoa, I got to add that to the part. Would okay. Why waste time with me then? If you're not even sure, I would even get to where I am now. And would you think I'd have that experience to get to where I am now? Um. Well, my thought process was a little different back then because, one, I wasn't building on things back then like I am now. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't even have been thinking about where you would have needed to be technically. Now, if it was me right now 
dating you back then, then it's like, okay, you need to be at a certain level. So I'm going to switch my question. Okay. Would you want me to date you then or now? Um, uh, That's easy now. So why was it so hard to realize how he ended up with her then? What you mean? That's why he didn't end up with her then. He got her where she was at. You said all now. you said it was a couple of months. We we you said fifteen, which is fifteen years ago. I got that, but still, years ago by, that's you, what, by, but by we're way. grown now. We're adults, right. so stuff happens you, a little faster you, you now that we're adults. You, said, you, you just said they stopped talking for like three months or six months or something. That, like that's. But that's my point, though. You would have to ask me. Would but you, why would you date would you, me six months ago? Or would you date me right now? That's the same question, though. It's it's one and the same. It's not. That we're distance about, doesn't matter. That's basically me, saying, would you, you rather 15, date me when I was on drugs or sober? Depending on the time. It, time is early. You, we, but that's me my and you, thing. the gap between me and you was 15 years. But that was my, my <laughs> the, the point of them telling women and men, don't wait around for people that's not waiting around for you. I would wait around for you. That's so crazy. So not, nothing not, I not say has changed that fifteen, mind. Not that, No, because you got to understand, like, all right, let's. All right, so let's take our friendship, right? And I like that we make the best example. <laughs> yeah, let's let's take our friendship, right? And I, like you said, I've known you for we're old. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I know you for fifteen years, but somewhere like thirteen ish. Now, thank you for finally aging yourself. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. People don't know how old. I, people know how old I am. <laughs> people know what age range I'm in. I'll say that. People don't be knowing how old I am for real, unless my birthday rolls around and I put something up like. Oh. They're doing the math already. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> now, all right. So my senior year of high school was your freshman year. So that that is going to put an age on it. <laughs> <laughs> if we would have dated in high school. We would not be friends where we are now. I'm telling you. This. We will be friends, but it probably just wouldn't have worked out. Cause, nah, cause my I'm view- telling you, we wouldn't have been friends. But why do you think that? <laughs> look, look, look at look, <laughs> no, this look, look at look at our dynamic, right? And just how but, okay, how could you pick apart our? The dynamic? reason I say it probably wouldn't work. You 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 also know my group of friends I had around me at that time. Yeah, you got to think about that. That that plays a part too, though. That's why I say we probably I, wouldn't have been friends. I was cool with a couple of them. I had classes with them. I did. I, I but had, you didn't know them. I mean, you that, know that's not my them. Th- what, it's not my job. So let me be clear. I'm telling you, nah, we wouldn't. I wouldn't have needed. To, I wouldn't have needed to know them. Right? You probably wouldn't have trusted the hell out of me at all. Now that that would have been an interesting conversation to have because. And keep in mind when you met me, that that was like you, uh, the intro to like would you relationships trusted, and dating. Would you have trusted me though? I probably would have listened to my friends. Which is why I said we probably wouldn't have been together. Because I, I was literally just getting into dating then. Like, legit dating. As a person with the understanding of what two people are supposed to do when they are teenagers dating. dating. Yeah. I still would date you, though. It would have been nice to have you on a resume. <laughs> hey, Murray's my ex, y'all. I'm like, this is the resume that I'm giving out. Yeah. This is her number. You can call her. I'm sorry, like how you said resume. Yeah, (laughs) this is reference, you know. Oh my God, that what did we say? We said we need one for friends. That needs to be real. (laughs) Yeah, like I said, I I, need relationship history. I I, I carry everything like you really have to do every because that's what it should be. I feel like if, if as adults, that's the only thing that adults are really open to is jobs. Because they know they have to work, they have to work to pay <laughs> bills and stuff. So I feel like everything d- should be structured yo, like a facts, job. You know what facts, I'm saying? Facts. So yeah, so that's why, like, when it comes to like our friendship, I treat it like a job. Like I said, we have to sit down. Yo, gotta put time in. <laughs> do, we, do we need to? Do we need to do this better? Like, what's what do we do here? What do we? What do we say? We need an annual review. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, the annual. Review. So it's like I feel like everybody should really do that because then you could be. It's it's easier to be open and honest. People would actually check in on each other. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, I right, do you still want to be friends? Do you want to knock this down to associates? So, I'm gonna close out the 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 the, the Netflix show. They basically okay. say that. When, I mean, not not our topic of conversation, but right. I'm just basically again go watch go watch the show. Mm-hmm. It it ends with relationships. Like basically what we're talking about right now. I told you, I'm so proud of us. We're on topic. 
I mean, you act like we just jump off topic or something. Oh my god, we jump off topic all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Telling a story relating to the topic is not jumping off topic. What? Shock me even found our way back to the topic. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so that's that. So that that was basically the show. And like I said, I definitely wanted your opinion on it. And I was like super excited to tell you about it because like, I I really no no anybody from my past don't. Mm-mm. I'm just saying. Unless, like, a, okay, to go back to your example and what happened with them, with with my uh co my ex coworker. Okay. If something like that was to happen, if yes, I've you know I've grown, they've grown, and I've now I'm now getting to know this new person. I'm not going to treat this person like who they were. Right. I have matured enough to not treat that person from who they know. I'm matured enough not to hold them accountable for what they did then. Right. I am going to learn to know who they are now. And if we work out now, that'd be something. Right. But actively, it's possible. Right now, no, I'm good. I'm pretty sure they're saying I, the I, same I mean, thing. Obviously, you're in a relationship now. I get that. But and let me be clear even realistically, all transparency, he's probably going to be like, babe, you ain't to talk about that on that. But um, he said no. Knowing what he knows, he would not date me over. And I said the same. I, I, I'm going to tell him the same thing I told you uh, 20 minutes ago. It's easy to say. Like, like. It, 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 but no. You know what that sounds like? You it sounds like, like, it sounds I'm like proud somebody. of that answer. Because what? I don't think him that him answer, at the start of our relationship would have said no. It doesn't. That's not. I don't think honestly he would have said no. If it's we, not, if that's we not, we that's not honest now. Because if he felt like that for real, he could just break up with you. He's still with you. Because we're, we ain't broke up. Right, exactly. That's it's what I'm saying. Easy. So, so like basically. Said, it's easy for me to be like, you know what? I wouldn't. Hell nah. But that's the thing. So that's what I'm saying. So because we have not worked, we're still choosing to work some stuff out. But if this does not work out. It's, it's going to work out. Oh, it, I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> it's Thank you. It's working out. It's working. But like, I wouldn't blame. Like, I don't fault him for that. Like, I appreciate y'all because I said the same thing. Like I, Like I said, like I have some exes who... I hope they wouldn't take me back. I still got some stuff to work out. Like I real life hope that they take their sweet time <laughs> and be like, "Ma, ah, she good. She still got you know, what is it? It's like like um, I still gotta build my resume. There we go. How? I, I'm well, still I working. Like, on I feel me. like I feel like you're on the verge of being married now, so I feel like it'll be off on that. But I still gotta build my resume. I don't have enough skills <laughs> under my belt. There we go. What? That's still funny. What's the name of the show again? Pressure? Yes. Go watch it on Netflix, y'all. Because it raises these questions. It makes you really think about who you were as a partner. I've been a bad partner here, man. We, we've had our discussions. We're both yeah. a little toxic sometimes. Yeah. I was and not, like, not, not, not what everybody calls toxic now. I mean, like, we're like, ha ha toxic. <laughs> it's like PG. Yeah. Yeah. Barney level talks. <laughs> yeah. We're also young though. We yo speak okay, to make this real relevant. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't blame none of I think you had it I think we talked about this a while ago. I don't longer blame those girls in like like public now that be getting with these toxic ass dudes and they stand with them and are they proud of it and shit. They're young. I don't know what they went through. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it that they're young. Cause that's all it, I can just, say. It just, and you know, like I, we, well, too, we, I don't think I think I, I didn't think I knew how young any of them were. We we talk about our parents not really teaching us like the ropes. Now I feel like people parents just, as long as you alive and breathing, <laughs> what you you good you on your what? own like you know what I'm saying. So I really preach because I think I said some harsh things back then. I, I take half of that back. Now all of it, half of it. Because like I didn't think, uh, what's her name? What is her name? Who was I talking about? I, Megan or somebody? It was somebody. I don't know who it was. Sweetie, one of them. Okay. I didn't think they were under twenty five. Yeah, it might be mad. Oh, twenty twenty eight, twenty whatever. I didn't think they were under. Well, if 20, yeah, I didn't think 20, they were. Twenty eight is the age, and that's that's just about a lot of them. That's. Meg is like twenty five. Like it just hit me. Somebody reminded me that Kylie Jenner is like what twenty three. Yeah. What. She's different though. She she has like, plenty of experience under her belt, so there's no excuse. But for no, her. I mean, I'm now now I'm looking at maturity. Like what? She's, 
And then with her society and, and entertainment saying, industry, no. Nah. Then in the line, like, since like six, you should be mature. You you would think though, but does that? But let's be clear, none of their situations, especially if they what, they were all still struggling with college and still like everything they do is micro screw. Nah. Yo, fuck off! Everybody would be able to kiss my left dick. <laughs> I, I, I'm still growing. It it, it depends. What? Oh, you, you don't you don't, ha- you don't have no, to. I was talking about Summer Walker. That's who it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I felt bad for her. I don't feel bad for Summer Walker. I kind of do now. I, I didn't I'm, at first. I'm sour on Summer Walker. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so. Wild we were we were in agreement. I know, <laughs> but now I didn't know she was so young. She is young. I didn't know it. I didn't know. I, and I'm not saying you're young and you're immature. I'm saying she is immature though. I, uh, it, that, but I, know, not, I didn't that's know not, that's, that, what, that's not bad though. But we're young. Go, so I'll go back to I didn't know how she felt about herself. I'll take it to like again. I'll take it to the Netflix show. I didn't know that she had some insecurities about her body. I didn't know that she wasn't feeling so connected to it. I didn't know that she didn't have the best bonds and 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 relationships like a lot of those women. Well, any any female that gets surgery. I mean, you, you, you that's a, me. it's a blatant <laughs> obvious like oh, hey, I'm this was an insecurity. Yeah. Or medical reason. I don't know. But for her, well, I good. didn't. I didn't know it was also it, it would help her profession. Profession. That's what we're gonna say. Uh, yeah, um, that, that's a common belief, I guess. Yo, no. Uh, sex sales. True, it does. I meant no. It just I just I felt bad a little bit. Like damn. Like I can now. Okay, because I think I was I was once one again, going back to our off, <laughs> off recorded real conversation. I'll, I'll bring it up a bit. Okay. I felt I feel bad now for prejudging. Okay. As a lot of us do, so I told you I'm working on not doing that and trying to go beyond that. Are you speaking on her or just in general? In general, because like I said, I I take back half of what I said about half of. Okay. I meant what I said. Not everything. I yeah. just apologize for the part where I was definitely judging. Yeah, because I was kind of feeling like I was like with her, it's not really prejudging no more. You kind of got a big sample. Because now, now I kind of understand. Yeah. I couldn't really mind you. I told you sometimes some of the stuff that they do, I can't relate to. But I was like, "Damn, I can kind of relate now." Fuck, <laughs> I kind of gotta take back what I said. But now that I was like, now that I can relate, why did I think they were older? <laughs> I'm sitting here still thinking about that. The way they look. That's a whole nother thing. Like we do talk about, you know, objectification, but like, eh. yeah, they 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 just genuinely. I'm not. They could have been flat chested in size two. I would still think they were older. Than no, they are. well, when I say they look older, they look older like in the face. Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely thought Summer Walker was thirty. Cause she looks older in the face. Well, yeah. yeah. Like nah, it's not. Trust me, I've you, seen I've seen plenty. The of The fact super that thick. me and Cardi B are this almost the same age freaks me out. Yeah, the, and I've seen plenty of thick girls that look like super young in the face. Somebody be like, oh yeah, you know Megan Thee Stallion, like twenty six, twenty four. What? Yeah, I think she's like twenty four, twenty five, something like that. But she looks, she looks, but it's the face. It's like they have strong and developed facial features. I don't surgery, I don't know, but <laughs> I think mulatto. I thought I, 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 the fucked up part was I knew she was young, but I forgot. Yeah, she's like twenty one. 22 something like that i forgot she looked like, <laughs> she looked yeah, like I forgot. and i knew she was young but i would forget occasionally like she'd be doing interviews and something i'm like she's like yeah she's just out of teenage. again not saying i don't think no one's ever saying like age and maturity are the same thing but it's it was not. just like i meant like i really just forgot these like because everything that they do is so scrutinized yeah but but I forget they're just, young and they're allowed to make mistakes. That's what I'm saying. Like I forget that. I, I, I can get it, but at a certain at a certain stage, at a certain level, it's just like, all right, how many times you gonna keep making the same mistakes? You so know what goes, I'm saying? But, but but wait, mind you, I told you it goes back to who you have around you, all the way around. It's it's got to be a complete good circle because if you get one bad egg, it spoils everything. Like you, but you still don't know you're doing wrong though. Like even even before you even get to anybody else, like self, so self let's be clear, self accountable. I have a great group of people, but yes, I still fuck up. You're going to, but I, I am the bad egg. <laughs> how many how many times have you fucked up, and you just keep making the same mistake over and over? 
I started weeding out some of the people that was helping me make these bad choices. But I mean, I started though. You got people who don't even know it's something they weed out in the in the first place. Which is true, but I just feel like at that that stage of life, it goes back. Like you're, I'm pretty you're, you sure, be, no, you I'm pretty sure now you know what certain people not to hang around. It, it depends. Uh, at you that like age, you matter of fact, okay, you you're married. You know all your single homeboys. It's about to go to the strip club, and you know what certain select of them do at the strip club. So you're like, you know what? I'm gonna catch y'all next time, uh, or not go at all. No, because it's like if I got discipline, I know I'm gonna be all right. You can follow discipline in the world, right? I know. I'm Even be, drug addicts know it's like I'm, it, you're I'm, you're gonna I'm constantly a, fighting less urge. I'm not a I'm not a peer pressure. Anybody know me? No, I'm not a peer pressure person. So True. you're Facts. not gonna you're not gonna never smoke till this day. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to. Like back in high school, I meant me. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, but I'm like, I'm like, if you got the discipline, that's why I said before you even get to anybody else, as long if you check yourself, you're good. But but who who helps you fester that? Like who helps you keep that saying? Nobody, because nobody. That's beautiful. Because you got for those of us that's not like that. (laughs) Nobody around me has as much. I feel like nobody around me has as much discipline as I have, so nobody can help with that. But that's how you feel. But what if you like I've don't talk about it? You you don't even acknowledge it. You don't what the discipline thing or you don't acknowledge none of it. None of it. Like you just don't. You don't realize you're constantly making the bad decisions until again it's being brought to your attention but publicly. You, yeah, but it's like after it's brought to your attention, how you publicly how you, if it, if it's brought to you publicly, how do you still make the same mistakes though? That's if not even no immature. one's teaching, but again, going back to it, go, oh, you're, not, going, stu- you're, going not, back stu- to you're it. not stupid now. You, no, you're talking you're like, not. <laughs> no, not stupid. Yeah, so, like, going back to what I said earlier, <coughs> going back to what I said earlier, if no one's teaching you, you're learning as you're going, how would you know how to change it? Because you're still learning as you're going. Yeah, but that's it. That That's literally the answer to that. That's cool, but you gotta, you still gotta do it. Not saying that they're stupid. It's just like, but if you don't know how to change or correct the behavior, everyone's criticizing you, but no one's saying, "Hey, let me show you how you can switch this around," or, you know, "Hey, what's going on? Like, like, you good? Like, why do you, you don't you, realize but, but you're you not making to, the same mistake? You have to. If you don't have no one around you. If genuinely that, doing that yeah because i feel like you don't need i feel like at the end of the day you have to check yourself you keep you keep bringing up other friends and stuff because like that I you gotta like understand the village i feel like it takes a village. yes like you have to have self-accountability and you discipline for it you might not ha- as a celebrity you might not have that but that's what i'm saying though but you don't need that either but if you don't have that desire to have that discipline you don't even know where to it start to, to get it it has to have <coughs> it has to be internal though this for some of, of these girls, sense. I mean, I'll from what I'm example. hearing, I don't think they have it. I, I'll give you an example. Let's I think say, they're gaining it. Let's say I let's say I get all I get a lot of my discipline from you, and you're the person that's always telling me the right thing to do and and this and that. God forbid you get killed. Now what? You already have everything I instilled in no, you. No, no, you're yes. go, you're going to be gone, and I'm be like, damn, the person that was the one telling me the right and wrong thing to do, no, they're not so here you, no more. So but, going forward, but like you said, you would ha- already have that foundation to draw off of. It might not happen right away, no, because I'm gone. You, I got what you're saying. I'm going off yeah. your initial thing, but you, all, but like all you said, I have left from you if, is what you already instilled. Not yeah, what I'm but you have people. Head. You have people who don't even have the foundation. So, yes, how are they supposed to start that? Go get help. What if they don't know where to get help? Again, the people. The world is at your oyster. I mean, my bad. I said the cliche. Well, no. The world is your oyster. No, it is at your oyster. But you got how many celebrities have had their innermost personal thoughts put into the tabloids? That, That has to be the least of your worries. Literally, celebrities have their deeper inner things that they're working out currently put into the tablets. I would never tell no one a single fucking soul. So you're not going to get help because you're scared of my. I out. would get help, but right. I'd, I'd have to. I'd have to find. It has to be a. Pro- it has to be a list of priorities. And it's it has a, to no. Be, so wait, I'm not going to judge them for their process to finding that. Right. That's that's all I'm saying. Is, is you go, know. All I'm saying is go get help. But that's what I'm saying. So when they're constantly making those mistakes, keep in mind 
they're struggling finding a better way to get that help and it's just public <laughs> And it's every time. It's like, Me, damn, they could have made three. That, no that, one's gonna hear that they made I'm progress. Not, but I'm not gonna. Uh, that's not. That's not our job. Like, that's not what we. That's not what help. It's is not even for us. It's not for us. I know, that, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Help is so for, but that, now think about how that has you mentally. No one knows that you've been doing great. All they hear is your fuck ups. That come with the territory. It does. But you said, well, how do you keep making the same mistakes? At what point do you think that that's not going to keep playing on their mental while they're trying to work on their mental? I I get it. At the same time, I'm sorry. I'm not going to feel. If I can do that, living paycheck to paycheck, I'm not (laughs) going to feel bad for anybody that's making millions of dollars that's struggling with their help. I'm not going to feel bad. Sorry. Very true. (laughs) But I recently. Oh, God. I really need to get off Netflix. (laughs) Marilyn Monroe fine example of someone who was actively seeking help and getting the wrong help okay. and everything happened to her very publicly okay to the point that people constantly idolize her and negate what happened to her okay um i like how it got all quiet and ominous <laughs> no, I'm, waiting, I'm, waiting, I'm, I'm waiting for the backstory or something so. no um because it's another show on netflix I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna watch nothing about Marilyn Monroe. So. Let me be clear. Just, just, just go ahead let me be clear. Let me be clear. It's a spoiler alert now. And it's not a spoiler alert. I didn't even want to watch it at first because I'm like, oh, I know everything. This was not specifically her re a re. It was basically a retelling of her life. However, it was a retelling of her life through her mental struggles. Okay. And the people around her. And it gave me a different perspective and it made me kind of mad because I got the, you know, it again, it was a, it's a retelling of her life and leading up to her death. Mm-hmm. We all know how many relationships she had. We know she checked herself into. Right. Right. When you hear it from other people's voices, y'all saw her struggle. And because she's rich and famous, you just thought she'd get better. You didn't care. So, so how you how how do you know they didn't suggest that she go get help and she just didn't? It's, again, no, no. Keep it where I said she was actively searching for help, but I don't think she got the right kind of help in the time that she needed it. Yeah, I mean, now that's and again, I'm going to go with the people around her. Yeah, that's 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 understandable, and that's very. But that's why I said that's why. Unfortunately, I think it's happening and has always happened, but I think it's happening ten times worse now. But we're th- so th- th- numb th- th- to that. But how though? When we got pl- now in that's her, in her time, in her time, made sense. In her time, it makes sense because you. Don't Ironically, have any- when I watched that shit, I saw the same shit happening now. But but the thing is, I'm numb with, to with, it to the point where, where I didn't even no, see a difference. No, because right now I feel like a lot of people just they not they it starts off not being accountable. Like that's that's the I, I'm gonna keep harping that to the grave. Is like no, and I, I I'm okay with that. But that's what I'm saying. That's where I think the disconnect goes. The same way you're saying you have all this money, why isn't this shit working? No, I'm I'm not saying it has not, to work. Not, not, not yeah, working, I'm not, I'm but not like why? Work. Like you're not you can, getting it. You're you not can, holding yourself you accountable. Look, you can look. Like I have no problem with Marilyn Monroe like looking for help and getting the wrong help. I have no problem with that. It but ha- no, that's, that's okay. Like, so let me be clear. So what I say it's, it seems like she got so one of the the treat well not treatments one of the um psychologists who. Realized, I don't, I don't specifically know what he realized, but he said he needed to change the way he was treating her specifically. So in the show, I don't think nobody else is gonna watch it. So I'm gonna spoil it. Uh, spoilers. The obs- what is the obsession with Marilyn? I think it is. So in case you're watching it, or you ain't got too far into the the little docu series. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the doctor goes. His son. This is the telling from his son because the doctor is deceased. Mm-hmm. He's not alive. Yeah, my dad treated her, but for some reason she came to our house. It was like she was part of the family. For some reason, this doctor felt as though she needed that. And this was the form of therapy he gave to her. Like, you know, he would check in with her. I think he thought to just treat her like a person. Okay. Like part of his family. I'm going to tell you this now. If more people treated that woman like part of their family and not an object, a mother, a person who's supposed to who be the pinnacle of perfection, 
they would have noticed how badly she was still abusing pills to sleep to cope to deal they would have noticed the dissociative identity disorders or whatever they said she had i don't I'm, don't quote me on that i don't know that like i'm just saying if they would have cared a little bit more than they thought they did like people were yes obsessed with her they, they they idolized her like i think she had one husband that didn't care that she probably didn't love him like that but he was hers she suffered through miscarriage like i don't they 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 stay no publicly that she suffered through miscarriages mind you i told you this is on top of the fact that she already needed the therapy before she's already abusing the pills add it on top of a miscarriage add it on top of god knows how many failed marriages and relationships and her main thing that she told a lot of people publicly said like they had recordings she felt alone even though she had all of those people around her literally adoring fans endless money like did not realize how much how many movies she made right i've missed a few <laughs> so i'm listening to this and i'm, I'm just getting angry because i'm like damn i'm shocked she lasted as long as she did she died in her 30s right her freaking 30s and what's mind-blowing to me these kids today ain't making it to their 30s which is also true and it's like again we have better ways of getting the help people are publicly crying out we're so numb to it you got the money to fix this you you can get the right people around you why aren't you getting the right people what's going on with y'all i really i really feel like it just but again that's why i said the right help i feel like if she because so she didn't get constantly get that type of therapy and i say the wrong people around her she thought people were her friends until you know her public image did not fit theirs and they cut her off right the show is supposed to be a perspective of like what killed her whatever they have their thing that they think she was murdered and covered up or whatever, whatever. I think she really she's just lonely. Immensely yeah. lonely. Yeah, that was a popular conspiracy that because she was messing with the president or something. Like, I, 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 and really, I tell people, I don't think that had nothing to do with it. It really was. I think she, they cut her off. So, like, yeah, I really feel like that's supposed to have been your best friends and these people were supposed to love you and they just ditch you at the drop of a hat because you're not what's happening. Yeah. I really feel like it was, like you said, it had a lot to do with, like, the drugs and the... Like, she's already <laughs> feeling low. Like, yeah. no one was treating... Well, again, we have better resources now. So, no one was treating the, the drug dependency. They were treating, like, the loneliness and the whatever hysteria they think we women had back then. But Yeah, because that was... The drug use was a very... Common, popular, or open thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I, I really feel like at the end of the day, and I, I can't speak on her, but what I, I can try to speak on like nowadays, is like, it just comes down to like, when you're searching for the help, you just have to put everything in your favor as much as you can. Like I feel like the problem is, at least nowadays, I'm not sure about her. Because she was technically an influencer. Everybody's easily influenced. Again, going and back to that circle around you. So when, no, but it, it don't even have to come from that. You could It could be like you watching something on TV and you listen. Oh, no, I agree you with listen, you mean. Yeah. yeah, you listen to Future. He's telling you to do drugs. Boom, now you're drinking lean. You know what I'm saying? 25 years old, your kidneys go out, you die. You know what I'm saying? Like it, It's like... Fuck. Until we fix that, and that's why I said it has to. It has to start with the person first, because even you, it usually I can does. Search, <laughs> I can search. I can search for help all I want. Yeah, I can find great help, but if I'm still doing the shit that I need help for, but it's like so again, these people are struggling. Through I, that, well, though. yeah, I, I I get that. I I, I can get it. Like, like they're it, not living long enough to to see if anything works or see if anything sticks. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like. And again, some of the stuff, I think, again, it's 10 times worse because every little step is public. It's got to be 10 times worse. I don't think I, was, like I wouldn't say that's worse, though, because it's like at, so it's, okay, at the same time as 10. The reason said, I say it's worse, it's like put myself out there. If everybody knew 
how many times I have sat in my room, no matter how long I've been searching for jobs, hours and hours, trying to tell myself I'm worthy, like working up the courage to apply to certain stuff that I know I probably don't feel the most confident in, but a bitch is broke. (laughs) But all you see is me sitting on the couch in the same spot for days and hours at a time. All you're seeing is snippets of me not trying. So every time you come to me, you're not trying. You're not doing this. I don't see you doing that. You don't see it. But I'm behind, like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Like, I'm putting, I don't have to, like, nowadays we don't have to physically get up and go, unless you know you got a, the best social life. I don't. Um, I like being in a house. And it's mostly because I'm too, I have too high of anxiety to come out the house sometimes. Okay. I, that, I don't like talking to people for real. <laughs> I told you, like, I realized my voice, I now notice my voice of, and my mannerisms change. And I don't like the feeling. I, I'd rather sit in the house. Okay. I have that same struggle with applying to certain stuff and store stuff. So, like, I'm, what? You don't know what it took for me to fill out those four applications or six applications or to even click apply. But all you saw was me sitting on the couch not doing anything. Now imagine that's the entire world seeing me sit on the couch. Every time they see me out going out or doing anything, damn, bitch, you're not working though. What you, you just don't want to work. You must be that lazy and that comfortable. And the whole time I'm struggling. I understand that, but at the same time, are you still going to try, or are you? Just but that's the thing. Like, see, we're, I'm still trying. But again, right. all and, and anybody's going to see is. Well, yeah, it's, it's fuck public thoughts and opinions, and, but we're not dealing mo- with that shit on a public thousands of but millions you, of scales. We're not but, getting flooded with inboxes on how much we ain't shit. But the, at the same time, it's like, you're not going to be able to escape that ever. I, I mean, the more popular you are, like you said, the more it's going to be a million trolls. It's going to be people. we I see it every single day on Twitter. True. Yeah. Like it, it's, but like you said too, a lot of that comes with the territory. It, it, but I can now understand. You didn't understand. have to sign up. You didn't have to be a celebrity. You, didn't. you don't. And a lot of like I say, I do respect a lot of the influencer celebrities we don't hear about. Well, I'm glad that also, their business is allowed to be private. Which is also true. <laughs> at least not. At least not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. You, but it's, that's it's what I'm a, saying. It's a marathon. I had to change my like, especially again, even even the show like I said before. Mm-hmm. Learning about my own part. I'm learning certain shit that I had to unlearn. Yeah. Like I, I owe those girls some mental apologies. Do they do they pay my bills? No. Do they would they ever hear this apology? Hell no. My opinion does not matter. However, it made me realize I needed to take another look at myself. Which who who you judging? <laughs> yeah. You really gonna sit here and remember like you don't remember you was just crying for thirty minutes because and, you had a whole panic attack to and, apply for a job. And that's and that's and and that's that's what I was trying to tell you earlier. It was like it's easy to sit here and be like, you know, don't do this and don't do that when you're chasing a relationship because you you're. But that's why I said. But that's too. You know I still I still agree with you when you're right. saying it. Like, yeah, and it, it's, but it's, don't chase for too long. Like, basically, I I will, I'll try to like bring it back around. I wish. The knowledge I had now, if I could start over with the knowledge I had now. Oh, that's everybody. Oh like, <laughs> every single person on earth would say that. Oh, my God. The, <laughs> the, I would be hella conceited then. Let's be clear. It would be so hella <laughs> conceited. But I think that quality of life, I think I just would have enjoyed a little bit more. Like, I would have loved to not feel like I have to, like, I have to dread a possible panic attack filling out a form that no one can see me fill out. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this then, right? Like, let's say, like... We're asking out in a relationship or something like that. Let, I'm trying to bring it back around. So, let's say, like, let's go back then. And let's say, like, it did happen that way, right? Um, How do you feel like you'll be different nowadays? I feel, like, I feel like... Because, you know, oh me, and, uh, me and my no, bro... Answer that. Me and my bro had this conversation, like, a couple weeks ago. And he was he was saying that... He felt like he would be more of an asshole if he had the knowledge he had now back then because he would have been more successful in life. So do you feel like the character that you got now would have been compromised? And you would have been like, because you you did just say you would be super arrogant. Like, do you feel like you would have been unbearable? I feel as though. 
oh i would be unstoppable i would be the thousand there that i would live comfortably like i would like to live i would have the people around me that were probably supposed to be around me it just would have happened a lot faster okay um i probably would have you know told a couple people no matter who they were to me to kiss my ass okay. and i do think i would have had a bit of that passion and drive like i told you that consistency Ooh, i would hope that that would be there like I'm working to get there now. Like I'm, I'm to be honest with you. Do I think that that future me, that that me, that could have happened? I'm still hoping that that's gonna be me. Well, anything is it's possible. It's possible. You just have to work towards it. That's all. Because I'm struggling to get there now. Let me be clear. But I just think that that would be a, I would be who I am now. Probably just would it would be a more blunter version of me. It would be less filtered. It would be. Like I said, I'd, I'd be living that, that thousand, th- I'd just be comfortable because it's not like I'm trying to say, oh, I want to be a billionaire, millionaire, and y'all. I know that I should reach for the stars, but no, that's just not me personally. Okay. I just wanted to be, I'd be comfortable. I wouldn't care so much about a lot of people's opinions or perceptions. Yeah. I'm working to get there because let me be clear, that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. And again, because it's like a certain stuff I struggle with that I'd be like, I'd be feeling hella low. Like, I, so-and-so, is, they can pick themselves up, so can I, but I'm not so-and-so. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm the same person that, yes, had a whole breakdown. And no one can see me. Yeah. Worried about shit I don't have or shit I didn't take opportunities of and comparing myself to fictional fucking people. Okay, that's interesting. And again, to bring that back around to pleasure and understanding yourself again, it's not just the sex part, but it like that rolls over into your everyday life. I'm also not that confident physically. I'm not that con- confident in my relationship sometimes. Like that stuff spills over. Okay, that's normal everyday life. Yeah, that's what's like. Th- again, the show was about pleasure and sex or whatever, but it made me go. It it made me do a whole three sixty. I gotta look at everything. Okay. Because if you're confident in how you are, you know, naked, you're going to be confident and clothed. You're going to walk into that room and not give a who says anything about you. Right. If you are, what I said, it was body. If you're confident mentally, um, you're going to be confident knowing that you look good. You you have the abilities to do whatever you need to do, not just in a bedroom, but at work. Right. At the gym or whatever you went to. I'm the best artist out there. I take the best photography. Like, I'm in my own lane. Right. Um, And bringing it all together, relationships, going back to, like I said, that circle of people around you and not chasing after things that don't serve you goes into everyday life. <laughs> You'll have a better quality of people around you. You'll start to go for stuff you didn't think you can go for because it's everybody cheering you on. And you're confident enough to believe in those people that's cheering you on. Okay. I don't know. How you feel about that? Um, as, uh, When it comes to that chasing thing, I still feel like there's just a great area. <laughs> because it's like... It, it's, you said it's going to come back around. <laughs> it, because it's, it's just like... People just taught so many different things. True. And like we already established, a lot of it is like unconscious. And it's just like, I really feel like a person, once they set on, because you got, all right, all right, let me, I'm going to take the relationship aspect out and I'm going to describe another analogy. Okay. And it's, it's going to just describe like how a person is taught. Let's say like growing up, I wanted to go to the NFL. And... In middle school, they telling me, well, you know, only only 3% of people actually make it to the NFL. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you might want to have a plan B. Yeah. But it's something that you could work towards. And as, as a black in the black community, we're always, we were taught at a young age to just, whatever you want, bust your ass for it. No matter how far it may seem away, how impossible it seems, you know, to always like put in the work and you never know what could happen. So I say that to bring it back full circle to this. I guess when it comes, what I'm saying, what I was saying earlier about the females is like, that's no different. You know what I'm saying? So 
at face value, you could be like, okay, well, don't chase her. But if the person got in his mind, he's not chasing. He's grinding. He's working towards getting her. I mean, I don't know. It's so many different no. ways that you could look at it. No. I'm, okay. I'll, I'll work with you. I'll work with you. Let right. me work with you, right? What if he was grinding while he was with the other girl, though? What if he was like, you know what? Like I said, what if he saw that as his blessing, that that's not who was right for him, right? What if he needed, he got what he needed out of that relationship prior to her? So like you said, his soul knew. <laughs> with, with, so his soul was like, hey, all right, we good. <laughs> she, what, we, we not working out here. But the only thing about that is your soul knows beforehand. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with it. He kind of like, just, that, he kind of just like... You're kind of just like being cocky and like, let me let me fuck with Shorty. And he probably, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. I, what if he didn't have the confidence that he got from the last relationship? Think about it. Cause you, cause, cause this was me. I clearly stated, I'm, I'm going with you. I'm working with you. That's wrong. That gotta be wrong, right? No. Cause I'm be. going with you now. No, I'm, no, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, it's, it's not wrong. That's not using the person. That's using no. The person, right? Come on, that's using the person. Okay, y'all, going back to our toxic tricks here. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm, not talking about, I'm talking about your friend. Not you. I'm not. No. If I, if I lack confidence to, okay, to, basically. to go smack at you, right? I'm tra- I want to go smack at you, but I lack the confidence to do so. You go on with your life. You meet someone who puts that confidence into you. How and, is that using and then that I take And I take that knowing that I'm not really feeling this person. Going back to what Avery said earlier, you and, just got to take this gamble. <laughs> That, and I, like I said earlier, like, what if he could he could have probably gotten worse with old girl, which is true too. Could have, but I, do do I know for sure that he's going into this situation? I mean, all no. it sounds like <laughs> all it sounds like is he's going into the situation to sharpen himself up for you. That's what it sounds like. But that's everything. Every relationship should bring you further to a better you. It's not using that whole term. That's, that's, when someone says I'm not, I'm no longer doing anything that does not serve me, help me grow, help me do anything. That's food. If, that's a job. That's if, if I talk, life. If I talk to a female and it just so happens to not work out and I stumble back into you, okay. That's what but, I'm saying. That's what I'm joking with you about. Like, I don't know what happened to that right, relationship. But, but all, I'm, all I'm saying is like. So I'm working with you. I His soul must have known. I could have been like, you know what? He could have grown. I need, to, I need to work on some stuff. Let me go fuck with Shorty right quick. All I know is they just met up and it worked out. You didn't even have to finish the story. Matter right. fact, I said, you look, I, remember, I probably need to go get some more details. <laughs> once, you, once, you, once you was like, oh, yeah, you know, it didn't work out when he picked, he ended up talking to somebody, it didn't work out. I was like, yeah, his, his soul is like set on that. Like, in I order, if they're still together. In order, like, I don't talk to this coworker like that no more, but like, mm-hmm. I hope, I wonder if they're like still together. Yeah, like. Matter we done talked about it. <laughs> you, you, would have to, you would have to be in a relationship and it has to crash and burn for him to be able to move on. That hit the whole thing? Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. All I know is that show made me realize I need to have content. Speaking of what you're saying. I have had some confidence in me, but I'm going to be clear. I accredit that to my boyfriend. Okay. Certain stuff that he says to me and I hear it on a constant daily basis, I've noticed I've started saying it myself. Okay. Instilling it in you subconsciously. And then, like, I'll be out and about and be like, oh, that does look nice. <laughs> to the point where he's like, or our conversations, when you know what, you tell me, you know what, you always find a way to make something work, even when you don't know what else is, how it's going to work. Right. I started saying it to myself now, to the point where I do have frequently less panic attacks and less because it's anxiety true. attacks. Is it not true? It's true. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So I'm not saying, I don't think I'm using you. I don't think I'm using him. If God forbid all of us stop talking, I would appreciate the fuck out of all this free therapy. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, uh, I, um, I hope <laughs> hope that's not in the cards, but... Things happen. Like I said, uh, me and that coworker, I think we just lost it. Like, I don't have her number. Like, we were basically still just I don't like not number. I don't have her social media or nothing. So we were just texting and calling. Okay. I said number. It was backwards. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's that's decent. But yeah, so again, bringing it all full circle is full on. All that stuff was intertwined. Okay. And again, <laughs> no to any of my exes trying to come back from the past. 
I'm good. I'm pretty sure they're good. I'm still learning. I still got some, you, some resume you, growing you, to that do. That you know of. You will prefer if they Bull come crap. Back. You, you want any of your exes back? Uh, you know, I, to be completely honest, I do feel like I got unfinished business with one of them. But I'm not going to speak on that on podcast. Notice you said one. <laughs> so yeah. I just want to put that out there, people. He still said one. People got to say, though. I, I, do I you think that they want to be back with you? Or do you know a few that do want to be back with you? I don't know. What do you think they do? I don't know. Let me be clear. I told you. I'm but well I, aware. I, <laughs> I can give definitive answers. But, but I, just, I just feel like I do have unfinished business with one ex. Do you think you're in a better place to go back to that person, though? Now that we done, you know, explored a little bit more? No. Would you let them take you at wherever you at now? I would be honest about the situation. So you'd respect what they'd be like, no, I'm good. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I think that's all, like, again. But, but also, disclaimer, you know, I can count on two hands how many exes I have. Because I've, I've been in long relationships in my life, not a bunch of them. So jealous. So, <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the caveat. But that's a good thing, though, too. Again, so jealous. It's kind of good. That's really good. No, it it would have been good if, we, you know, so I'd end up married to somebody, but, you it's know. Not time for you to get married yet. That's all. Yeah. That's all it is. You'll, you'll do it first. What? Yeah. This is why we got other friends. <laughs> for what? <laughs> I just went to a, a wedding a couple weeks ago, too. I did the photography for it. I saw. Listen. That was somebody who I did not think was going to get married. I definitely said this on air, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's cool. I was telling them the same thing. Man, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But. I mean, not ever. I just, young. Like, I don't ever. Not just young. I like, I, like, I, like when, I like when people who went to high school get married together. I like that. That's cute. Yeah. I, that, I, it, in the back of my mind, at least for that day, I was like, I want to marry somebody from high school. But it was just for that day. I told you, be careful what you put into the universe. <laughs> nah, see, I don't, I don't, now the, one, the one ex I'm talking about, we did go to high school, and we dated in high school, so. Well, I hope that person is somewhere out there prepared to, to, to take you. This is, Heck you no. would. <laughs> nah. Hopefully it's, take it's, them. It's, it's, it's. Because we're equal opportunity of pleasure here, because again, the show is called Pleasure. Yeah. It's it's wishful thinking, I, and then you know I be and for some reason my mind just works very weirdly, so I don't even feel like I've been out of high school for that long. But what? tomorrow, Me neither. don't feel bad. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's the first right. Tomorrow will be my 15th year anniversary that I graduated from high school, which means thank yeah. you for finally dating yourself. I appreciate yes. it. So yesterday, tomorrow, 15 years ago, I graduated from high school. Oh, Shamay is over. Yeah, today's the thirty first. Yep. Oh, the graduations are happening. I was yeah, I'm not over prom season. Those dresses were cute. Did you go to your prom? Yes. I went to two proms actually. Yes, I went to two. I went to three actually. Believe it or not, Excuse I had me. fun at my prom, but I had more fun at somebody else's prom. All fours will or Suitland actually. Okay. It's a lot of goddamn kids at that school, by the way. <laughs> Where was it at? At Tulane or? So, ironically, why do I think it was at the same hotel we had our set? You know they get deals. You know all the schools get deals. Yeah, they was at the same hotel. Yeah. It was different. It would have been nice, but no. Well, I went, to, uh, I went to my baby mother's prom. It was at the hotel in D.C., our, our prom was at some fancy mansion out in Lago. That's Lago, see, Lago. I knew y'all stole all the money. I, I knew it. Thank you for admitting uh, it. Like <laughs> I didn't y'all even know fucked Lago. it up for us. We got a hotel in Virginia. Thank you for fucking it up. I didn't even know like Lago had like I didn't know Lago. The backside of Lago was built like this. What you forgot? People got money and space to. I knew I know Lago. On. I knew Lago was nice because my aunt uh, lived in Lago when I was in high school. She lived in Lake Arbor, and that whole Lago is like I've nice. Never been out there for real. It, it's like I've it, seen it on Google Maps. That's that's why I'm sitting. It's a it's a part of Lago that like when you go, it's like you going towards Six Flags, but at the last second, 
you make this right and you go down there. It's like a long street. Looks nice on Google Maps. And once you go down this long street, I mean, you go down the street for like 10 minutes. It's like a straight shot, like 10 minutes. And then you just, they just, we just pulled up to the, like this, this big ass, like house. And I'm just like, damn, this the, this the dome. This is what we want that prom at? Like they got the ice sculptors and all of that. Like I, I think I had the most fun in my prom. Ain't that like a general prom thing? Just got something got to be covered in ice. I, I mean, at the hotels it wasn't. We had one. It was like the 2010 sign or something. Yeah. Okay. I went to the 2009 prom. So that's. What was the hotel at? It was in the DC? It was in Virginia. Oh, you did say Virginia. Crystal City, I think, to be precise. Oh, that's, that's nice, though. They're nice. That's nice stuff out there. So, you know, all hotels. Oh. Yeah. Hotels that get decorated all pretty and fancy. <laughs> we live yeah. in the in two, hood. In, in, in two thousand nine, it was at the it was at the Grand Hyatt. It's by Gallery Place. We that don't was not like that was not like ghetto. I'm emphasizing we live in the hood. It was pretty. Yeah. You go somewhere out like. Oh no, I can't. It's this place in Baltimore, and if anybody who is listening is from Baltimore, it's this beautiful. It's smack dab in the hood somewhere. Okay. A neighborhood. Not a hood hood, but like a neighborhood. And it's this place. The inside of this, it's, it's a regular hall. But when you get a good decorator, but that bitch is pretty. Looks like it costs someone a good couple grand to rent out. Yeah, probably. Not like the, you know, the hotel who has to, well, during the school year, this is, nah, that joint's pretty. Like whoever shoved out y'all's expense to go there poop y'all for taking all the budget actually we didn't go on a uh a senior we didn't go on a class trip so that's why we was able to be fancy with the who prom did that who who was all treasure um miss taylor and miss guy dixon now it was ex- it was extreme rumors going around that they did steal money so i'm just going to throw that out there <laughs> but I, I can't sh- say nothing. I guess they was well. They, I think they went to Hershey Park my year. We didn't. We 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 decided that we was going. I don't know. I don't even remember what O nine did before they graduated. I really don't. I think we uh we decided we was gonna put everything into the prom and uh. I think it was Hershey Park. Still, I'm gonna be honest, but um, or Six Flags or the Kings of Me or something like that. The clothes. Yeah. Because we had outfits too. I mean, everybody had outfits when they graduated. We had track jackets, jerseys, jumpsuits. We had we got. Like, I think they recycled it. That's what I'm saying. Like some of the stuff is just essential. I guess. Central prom stuff. But um. What? Oh, I got a I got a closeout question because okay, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> so, do you think there should be a male version of the show I showed you about? And if you if there was one. What would you like to be topics on the show? Um, that's a that's a good question. Um, any I guess any show that would be aimed towards a male, as far as like sex goes, it probably would have to be something centering around how to actually. You would have to actually be able to educate guys on like, on sex, because you know once, once that's taught to males, it's kind of taught in a way of like. Yo, this is what you this is what you need females for. So you're saying intimacy should be something that's in there. Intimacy, communication, all that other stuff. I'm saying to the bubble. And, and from a genuine standpoint, though, because don't don't guys know how to do that stuff. They just use it to their advantage. So then you would need social etiquette on consent. Yeah, cause cause guys will guys will communicate and they'll seem like Mister Right and all, like you said about Cuz earlier. They'll seem like Mister Right and all that, but it's to it's to get what they want. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it has to be something that teaches guys from a mental perspective on how to be like. So you think there's also be a segment for mental on male parts, understanding how testosterone plays a part into everything else as well? Because there's one where we yeah. learn about that. Yeah, because it's like. Once that spirals out of control, mm-hmm. it's like it's a wrap. And you so, don't, so, the guy, the guy men, that, so mental health, yeah, consent. The guy's not going to care about intimacy. Learning that's how to, a good show. I'd watch it. 
Yeah, a guy's not going to care about learning how to pleasure a woman, and he's just going to be in it for him. And well, I mean, it depends on if you've never honestly asked if you've ever pleasured. I'm gonna still watch it. Yeah, I mean, they might watch it. They just might not pay attention all the way. Yeah, you you have to catch guys early though. Like I feel like, all right. So speaking on on like let's say my situation, right? And obviously, we looked at porn early on. Mm-hmm. But by the time I started watching porn, I was already having sex. Those poor females. So the poor you, the poor poor everybody. <laughs> yeah. So it was like one, and also I wanted to say this earlier too. One. That's why porn didn't hit as hard for me, because a lot of us, when we was watching porn, a lot of people wasn't having sex yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it was it was like a, a spectacle in a sense, because a lot of people weren't doing it. But because I was already doing it, it just didn't hit like the same for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, like we talked about, there's the whole mental aspect and. Things of that nature, but yeah, that's what I feel like they should uh, they should do. I would watch that. You should, you know, make it a topic. You teach it. You know enough. I believe in you. Yeah, I'm just not a. I don't think. I... Also, I'm gonna tell you though. You know, you need help. Watch the show <laughs> Pleasure on Netflix. Yeah, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to watch that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to do that. No, honestly, you should though. Like real life, you should. And here's what I'm going to say. Real life, you should. For any man that's like, nah, it's for chicks. No. Y'all ain't going to get taught that no way. Let's be clear. Y'all going to have to wait for some dude to be that honest with himself to pitch the idea to Netflix and then get it made. And then have it not be full of stereotypes of how masculine manly you are. So watch it. It gives you an insight on she's not crazy. And it's not that you're horrible. It's not that you're... It just teaches you a way to understand certain stuff about yourself. If anytime they say female this, uh, point it to yourself. I watch shows like that and I tell men, watch this. I said, um, I plan to get my boyfriend to watch this. Okay. Because one, it's, it's... We're not all... Women, we don't... Again, going back to we were not taught. We're not taught how to express that shit either. Okay. It's hard for us to explain. Like... I recently started having like menstrual things fuck with me <laughs> where it's like, oh shit, I was emotional as fuck last week. Okay. Like we're not aware sometimes of that change. And to know that, oh, it's not just because I'm all in balance or whatnot. It's no, sometimes it's, yo, you would be insane too if for one day out of the week, you just started randomly crying all day and you didn't know why. And then it's embarrassing to talk about. You don't want people to start just, oh, anything you do for the rest of the day. Now you're irritated. Like you went from crying to being irritated. Facts. You would think you're crazy. So to hear, oh, must be the time. Any yo, yo, you know why those jokes just annoy us. You're just adding fuel to a already burning fire. And on top of that, because something I've learned too, you got some women who don't experience that crap at all. What you mean? Like the pain, the, the long fatigue, the overflow. Oh, okay. The symptoms. You got women like who don't experience a lot of that. So they can't even relate. Okay. That's fucked up. Like, I'd be like, damn. I said lucky bastards, but damn. I wouldn't want to not be able to relate either. Hmm. But that's all. That's what I say. Watch it. Gives you an insight. Huh? It gives you other opinions besides the people you know. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm 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 open to it since you're suggesting it. That's all that matters. Yeah. It's on Netflix. It'll be there for a couple of months, weeks, years. We don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> the way Netflix been going, I would say years, but sh- they be getting rid of shit now. Yeah. Making these contracts and making that Netflix money. That's what I need to do. I need to deal with Netflix. <laughs> yeah, do a little show or something. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be give me a limited series. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm a limited guest. Yeah. Once once a year, you know. <sighs> but 
I guess we can end off right here. I definitely appreciate you today. Always. I'm glad you, you were home. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this has been another TED Talks. With Mary. Yeah, featuring Mary. I don't think you've never done a TED Talks before. I think you've just been on the other one. Probably. Yeah. I have to look because for sure you'll be on on this one and then, you know. The other one. Yeah. Although this is the first time I said my name. Yay. Well, you've definitely been on the other one and we definitely said your name. I think I'm going to just keep being a mysterious voice. <laughs> like people don't know who you are. <laughs> I could. I could just be that random voice that comes to the mic. I, I like how you, you really you really act like people don't know who you are. But it's okay. It is. My mom just called me greedy. <laughs> Interesting. Tell her I said hey. And then in the meantime. <laughs> don't want me to go get food. <laughs> you said what? You fit in the lead. Uh, you coming with me. <laughs> it's like 100 degrees outside. You're coming outside. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm definitely not about to come outside. <laughs> Tripping. <laughs> but, but we will... Holla at y'all later. Later.